I think you're trying to rationalize something that's irrational, okay? And it's just Rick Levine trying to stick his hand in your pocket. Rick Levine was right about certain he things. He was right, but it's not a science, okay? He says it's a science. It's not. Brian? <laughs> oh, yeah, he said Brian would Levine. die. <laughs> you said something big would happen in Brian's life. <laughs> and then Brian got what? hit by the Explain those that. two eighteen wheelers, hit him at the exact same yeah. time, and just splattered and they him. Eviscerated yeah, him. Yeah, you get turned into red mist. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Back at it again with another episode. Um, poop. <laughs> I just sit there and oh, smile. Hey, welcome back, guys. <laughs> July premiere episode of Four Ed yeah. Fables. Yeah. Coming at you on 7 9 24 is when it will be out. There's no way. <laughs> so if you don't hear it on that day, Stalt messed yeah. up, not us. Yeah, so you have like three um, hours to edit this. Yeah. So, guys, this is the 4th of July premiere episode of the Four Ed Fables podcast. Now, let's get into it. I know Sam's got a couple big bullet points. Yeah, big bullet point number one. Did you watch that presidential debate? Uh, I was a little busy at the time. I was a little preoccupied. It, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, no, I just actually kind of no, I just I didn't watch it. I got some highlights on uh, Twitter. That's where I get my news from. Let me tell you the the Twitter highlights do not do it justice. They don't do it justice. Just like. Have you seen uh, Louis? Like footage of 9 11 isn't like being there. Yes. Like footage yeah, of 9 11 yeah. is different than watching the first plane hit and then waiting an hour and a half for the tower to fall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, you're just, you're, you're on the edge of your seat for 90 minutes. This debate, me and Abby were just watching it in bed. I, I had streamed that day and I was like, hey guys, I'll be back at 9 p.m. to stream again. And I was like, oh fuck, the presidential debates tonight. I'll just watch a little bit of it and then go down there and stream. Some live commentary. It was like, I was just sitting in bed. It was like watching a train go off the rails in person. Abby was watching it and it got so uncomfortable that like secondhand embarrassment was so uncomfortable. She yeah. was like, can we please turn off the TV? This is unbearable to watch. I, I was dumbfounded. I've never, yeah. I've never felt like, holy shit. We literally are rudderless right now. Like this guy is yeah. full. I sent you a picture earlier of Reagan on Air Force One with his sweatpants up to his tits and his tie. I did not register what that was, <laughs> but yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's a great picture of Ronald Reagan, like SpongeBob, or yeah, something. wearing his sweatpants up to his tits, and he has his tie hanging over the top. He's wearing dress shoes, and like I would be more comfortable with having that as my president than whatever the fuck that was on the debate night. That was uh, and like before I watched it too, uh, somebody was like, "Are you gonna watch the debate?" I was like, "No, I'm not," because I'm not like super political. I was like, I'm not going to watch. Well, but this is a political podcast, it is. Though, so it's good to hit these points. Yeah, it's, it's, on good, it's good to hit these points here. Yeah. So I, I, we should debate. So we should get a debate going on this podcast. <laughs> um, which side are you on? Uh, Doy, I'm on the side of the truth. Oh, I'm I'm a huge Trumper now because he was louder during the pod, uh, not it, podcast oh, during I'll the debate. Vague. Yeah. Well, it's like a podcast. Yeah. The debate was yeah, kind of like a our, podcast. I think the audience really likes it when we talk about that kind of stuff. I, I think they do too. So, man, I'm trying to keep us at the number one spot on that 18 plus. Okay, why don't you tread lightly? He was louder. Okay, he was louder. Trump was louder. He won it. All right, that's gonna help with the uh, yeah. little booster. No, it was uh, that was a horrific debate, and it really it made me just feel bad when I left it. I was like, this is this is gonna be a scary election. This feels bad. There's a guy anywhere showing his wife this podcast, and he's <laughs> experiencing similar levels. Of just kind of that secondhand embarrassment of watching us talk and yeah. s similar to how I was experienced. I'm sure. Yeah. But I also like to think that most of the people that <laughs> listen to our podcast, listen to it unabashed, you know, they're just like, this is good shit. And they don't, they don't yeah, realize like how embarrassing like it is. I think like that. Yeah. Nah, you I, I get pictures every, sections. I get pictures every now and then of someone like, there's like, yeah, I'm watching your Skyrim videos in my living room. I'm like, holy fuck. What the fuck are you doing, dude, for other people to see? Are you insane? My videos are to be viewed in the bathroom with headphones on in the dark, door locked. At, at a 4th of July party, my friend, just to fuck with me, started playing like the podcast out loud on the speakers. 
I would have, and it was the, it felt like and kicked him. You, I did. I jumped for the phone. I was, <laughs> I paused it. I mean, probably four seconds, but just the shock of hearing my own voice <laughs> at a social event where you know, especially like a lot of people don't even know what I do. Yeah, and I talk about it with such great shame. You know, I'm like, it was. I mean, it just threw me off for the rest of the night. I was just on edge. That he, he's just like, you can do it once. You can do it a hundred times. You know, how am I ever going to stop you? Yeah. You know, it's really scary stuff hearing your own voice. It is, yeah. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but. Do you think I'm, Biden I'm totally, listens back to his. Biden right now. Yeah. Do you think Biden <laughs> listens back to his uh, debate uh, performance and goes, oh, fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, so I bet he takes notes. <laughs> yeah, and works on it really hard so it never happens again. <laughs> You know when my brain yeah, turned I, to mush there for like 90 seconds? <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> yeah. Let's try and yeah. skip past that next time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I'll watch the other ones and stuff. and just, I mean, I kind of figured it'd be as much. Yeah. And now I wish I had watched it so that we could use this as a talking point better on this podcast. But yeah, I think I was watching Land of the Lost or something. <laughs> I think it was... So, I, had, I had already put something on the TV... Before I realized it was going on. Have you seen Louis? Louis C.K. show? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. I, I think, like, that show does that, like, secondhand embarrassment. Like, that's the entire bread and butter of that show. Is just yeah. how embarrassing it is. And I don't think, at its peak, it ever reached the amount of secondhand embarrassment that that, that uh, president Like, curb your enthusiasm or something? Yeah. Or- well, no, Curb is always like, I'm always on Larry's side. I'm like, Larry, yeah. like, there's nothing to be embarrassed about here. You're in the right, buddy. You're in the fucking right. Uh, which, by the way, yeah. to tie into that, uh, RFK, possible, he's not going to win. There's no fucking way. But he, he's married to Cheryl from Curb Your Enthusiasm. How cool would that be to have her as yeah. first lady? Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Nah, nah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but to have, like, a funny first lady for... You know, the first time ever. She was on TV. She was on TV. It would be kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, better than a two fucking 78-year-old dude. Have you, wait, no, have wait, RFK, RFK is also talk? old as shit. Yeah, have you, have you heard the man speak? Yeah, he said... You can't have a president no. that sounds like that. I'm sorry. I, 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 no, I, I said that too. I was talking about that on stream. I'm like, this is, you know, this isn't an ableist take. It is an ableist take. You know, fuck it. I'll say it. This when is an did, ableist was, take. You're not going to be... talk like that? Or? You're not going to be representing... Me and my country sounding like a fucking robot, okay? I don't care how many push-ups you can do. Yeah. You sound like you're succumbing to, like, consumption. Yeah, like you can't. <laughs> yeah he sounds like he's yeah, dying he sounds- of an old-timey yeah. disease. <laughs> yeah. uh, my name's all right. He sounds like he's being shook like an Etch-A-Sketch when he talks. I had a, it, like, it's a grandpa disease, that talked but- like that once, dead within a year. Really? So I'd, be, I'd predict that his running partner... <laughs> Would be just gonna be what Larry David or some yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, dude, that would TV. be insane if <laughs> Ryan Seacrest, VP, because then it would be Let's Larry David Maria and Menounos Cheryl in the running the country. That would be fucking awesome. Yeah, and then they start banging, and yeah, it's like TV. Get real, dude. This is a real world. This is really important stuff. I mean, I forgot to watch it because I was watching <laughs> Land of the Lost, but I hadn't seen that in about eight years. <laughs> Held up. Pretty all right. It was okay. Yeah. Uh, do you ever? Oh, yeah, of course you do. Never mind. What? Nah. What are your other bullet points? <laughs> hey guys, it's summer. Um, let's fuel up. Let's fuel up. Let's get healthy. Let's get those beach bods with factors no prep, no mess meals. Uh, let's meet those wellness goals. Uh, thanks to. Factors options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. They're fresh, never frozen meals, and they're ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutritious, great tasting meals. Crush your wellness goals this summer with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. Make your day delicious. From breakfast to dessert, stay fueled with easy, nutritious options. And keep kitchen time to a minimum. Factor meals are ready in two minutes. No shopping. Thank you. Prepping. Woof. Cooking or cleaning up. Head to factormeals.com slash forehead50 and use code forehead50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code forehead50. 
at factormeals.com slash forehead50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription's active. Thank you. Yeah, you want to hear a funny story about getting ghosted by someone you respect? Ooh. The skeleton from Voodoo Ranger. Uh, yeah, pretend you've never heard this before. Uh, but if you guys didn't know, been having a little bit of, you know, sponsorship issues with my main and only sponsor, Voodoo Ranger, for a while. There's just been a little bit of... It's just, like, been a lack of communication. It's been, like, a falling out of love. And, uh, I mean, shocker, I didn't know. Sam hadn't paid me for a day because I didn't realize they hadn't paid me in about four months. And then by the time I realized, I'm like, well, they're probably just, you know, they probably just forgot. And I should get, send them a little gentle reminder. And then I sent an email like, hey, guys, not trying to <laughs> freak anyone out, but I think you guys are forgetting to pay me. What's going on? Oh, boy. I waited like two more months after that. It's like, okay. Like, do I do this stuff still? And then they send me a pretty vague email. I actually don't know, like, how much... I'm going to get, get, like, sued for slander or something. But it's real, so it's not. Yeah. And uh, they, they sent me a pretty vague breakup email. Just kind of like, it's not, you know... We still want to, like, hang out. <laughs> and I sent... I had to send, you know... It's karma for all the women I've talked to like this. But they're like... I was like, what, what does this mean? Am I... Are we still working together? And they said, no, we've gone in a new direction. But I don't know how no one told you. Like, you just really slipped under the radar. I'm going to have them email you next week, three weeks ago. I sent an email today just saying, forget it. Okay, I'm sick of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a slander spree online. And then they replied to me, and the first line of the email just says, hey, poop. Two and a half years. Like, they don't even know me. Hey, poop. Like, what am I? Just chop liver? <laughs> like, I've been, put, I've been selling this shit. Got all my friends hooked on it. You know, probably at least 20 viewers have tried it because of this. Yeah. And then they call me poop, which is pretty goddamn close to my name and part of it. But still, it just felt like the final, like, I guess they never even really liked me as much as I liked them. I just want to say... uh now that nobody on the podcast is officially affiliated with Voodoo Ranger, or as we call it on here, do- Doodoo Ranger. Doodoo Ranger. I told them I'm going hard. Yeah. I told them I was going to fucking say some stuff. They really the go all out on their branding and on their artwork on their bottles because the product <sighs> tastes like dog shit. Okay. That's why. Let me wait. A, let me, as let a me guy that's never been paid by them. Yeah. Me personally, I actually do like their beers because that's a, another tough part about this is on my slander spree, I can't really now be like, oh, it tastes like puke because <laughs> I genuinely liked it and I genuinely drank it and that's why they yeah. sponsored me. So it'd be a little disingenuous yeah. to now be like, oh, it makes you sick. That's why I never took and a game of sub get sponsor become slander. I just was like, this tastes so I'm not going to drink well, this. Well, let's keep that for the future. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, never, we might need I'm not saying, time, yeah. you know, there ain't no future where I don't like gamer subs. You know, the palate can that mature. They get you a penthouse the, at TwitchCon. So, like, yeah. why the hell are you talking shit? That's true. That's true. Um, I didn't even think about that. We love, I love gamer sub. <laughs> I've never tasted I've, it. I saw Wubby get that Porsche and I said, wait, was it Porsche or was it Ferrari? What was yeah. that? It was a Porsche. It was a Porsche, yeah. I saw that and I said, uh, maybe gamer subs cool. taste awesome. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Voodoo Ranger sent me this sign, and I said, I'll do anything. <laughs> and now I'm going to... I've been wanting to, like, tear down this... It's like throwing away the last picture of her. Like, I <laughs> don't want to really get rid of it. Because I had a lot of great times getting blackout drunk on Voodoo Ranger on stream. Yeah. In those, I got a Snapchat memory the other day. The first time Alex sent me just, like, 10 beers. It was the only thing in my college like apartment fridge because I just did I didn't have I couldn't afford anything and he sent me like 10 beers and he, he like stole my heart yeah it's like five loaves of bread that's like so much yeah yeah that's like a lot of calories yeah and then uh and then hey poop like what the fuck yeah you know what it is it's because Alex that- left you know the heart and soul left the company 
Well, actually, I told him in the email. I said, actually, Patrick, you're pretty cool too, but I'm gonna I'm about to tear into you guys on every <laughs> podcast I'm ever on from here on out. But I won't go too hard because I do kind of like the beer. I just haven't been drinking it because I'm trying to watch my figure. Uh, so I've not been indulging. But when it comes winter time, <clears throat> I might still drink a couple. Yeah. It was just it was heartbreaking. The it just the the lack of communication. The fact the that you didn't like come knocking lies. on the door after <laughs> waiting five months for a fucking sponsorship payment. Well, it's like is an automatic insane. payment. And like, it's really, I'm going to be honest here, like, they didn't pay me a lot. So it wasn't like life changing money or anything. It was really the best benefit of the sponsorship is you get free beer. Yeah. And I hadn't used that in about a year. I was about to say, so, I, I, we talk separately yeah. than the podcast. I've gotten phone calls from you multiple times a week for a year where you're like, yeah, it's weird. They haven't like sent me any beer. And then like six yeah. months, uh, six months later, like, I don't even know if they're like paying me anymore. Well, you, you know, I noticed they did a collab with a pizza company and they sent, I saw all these and no hate to these guys because mm-hmm. I'm sure they're better than me in a lot of ways, but they have less followers than me on Twitter. And that means something. And they were all bragging about getting a voodoo ranger pizza cutter and I sent an email. And it was just like, I didn't get a Voodoo Ranger. And yeah. it's so hard to, yeah, like you do come, you come off like a little baby yeah. being like, hey, uh, I'm not sad about mm-hmm. not getting a pizza cutter, but what the hell? That's like my favorite part of the sponsorship. Wasn't is there got also like a windbreaker like, a, like, a, like a two years D20 ago or something that they, oh, they, they didn't they, send it to me while we were doing a D&D podcast. And then I did gripe and they, they, sent they did send one. it to me. <laughs> it's got the little crit. Oh, you can't see it, but it's a little Voodoo Ranger skeleton, stupid ass little skeleton, little bitch. <laughs> and uh, I don't even like that logo. I think he looks like a cunt, but I can say that. I can talk shit about the skeleton guy because I don't even get him. Yeah. I don't know. What is it? Voodoo Ranger kills you? Is that what they're trying to say? Yeah. Uh, anyway, they never sent me the pizza cutter. And then after that, they're trying that, to lie like, to you about the caloric like, value of the beer. If that was a real mascot, it would be a big fucking fat guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be a big yeah. fat guy, four hundred fucking pounds. Okay, yeah, these IPAs. I, you're never gonna look that thin as their little mascot. That is, yeah, I remember I text Alex once. I'm like, how many calories are in a tall boy? Because I'm drinking about eight of these. Like, you think that's gonna make working out counter? I use, like, dude. I would, ooh, <laughs> not good. I'm like, oh shit. I guess I'll drink like a Corona instead of something. But that's kind of when I started weaning off. Yeah, and then yeah, just. And they didn't send me that goddamn pizza cutter. And then uh, after that, I'm like, wait, are they even paying me? Yeah. And I looked, I went, did a deep dive in my stuff. And honestly, at that point, though, we both weren't putting in enough effort. So, like, one month they didn't pay me, but I didn't even do the stream. I just did the Instagram post. So, like, the stupid way I work, I'm like, well, that's a fair trade off. <laughs> like, I, I fucked up. Like, I didn't do that. I should have done it. They're they're just like punishing me, yeah. and then like months and months go by, and I'm like, I actually really <laughs> do want that money. And uh, yeah, I sent an email, and it took them like a month. I was like, I'm gonna do the sponsorship tomorrow if you say yes. Didn't reply for a month and a half, so I didn't do them then. So I'm like, well, I'll take this month off. Nope, I'm taking forever off. So if anyone out there, I've been thinking about doing maybe personal sponsorships. That are a little more human than working with a corporation. So if you have, you know, you want to plug something or you just want me to, I could maybe help you with something. <laughs> maybe I, maybe you could sponsor me. Oh, I, I know a, a podcast, uh, PKA. They did, uh, yeah. they did just like, we'll take any money sponsorships. And they would just get like, I'm sensed at it. <laughs> they would just get like random, random people just like sponsoring for their, I don't know. Okay, I don't want to do this anymore now that I know it's been a thing. Yeah, but just like random people sponsoring little segments. That would be awesome. I think that would be a great idea. You know, $10. Yeah. I'll talk about you for an hour. <laughs> be a good deal. Oh, wow. A really good deal. I think it would just be like awesome to just shout out time. like a random like tire shop in like Minnesota. Yeah, I, you uh, know, mom and pop. Yeah, just like little ass, little ass stores. Yeah. It'd be cool. <laughs> they would get absolutely no return i don't think on their investment 7-eleven on 45th street <laughs> yeah. is now selling 18 more vapes yeah. 
Okay, that was what, 15 bucks? <laughs> I mean, I'd do that shit all day. I mean, you could fit in 100 sponsorships in a stream. Have you seen those like that? Uh, it's like an Asian lady that does we, a whole sponsored we, stream yeah, we, where it's just yeah, like yeah, <laughs> product yeah, after product is lightning quick. I'll just print out a picture of your face. Yeah, this guy paid, <laughs> this guy wants you to just know he's there. Yeah. Maybe follow him on Instagram. There's no way or she's still doing that. Is there? That's probably like a quick, quick in and out fad, or maybe it's lasting. Yeah, like, like the, of, the you know the NPC lady that would just sit there and just act like a fucking NPC. Yeah, it's it's there's tough no way when she's got still like doing a that. Very specific thing. Yeah. Keep doing. It. Have you seen all the? Okay, guys, let's get into some real pop culture. Fuck the debate. You seen the hawk to a girl? Yeah, she's her she's rise? getting like a reality show now on her yeah, ability to little... spit on a penis. Okay. Well, just. It's just, yeah, odd that, I don't know. I mean, back in the day, sure, that would have got you on Ellen, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't have put you into reality TV territory, I don't think. Uh, but some yeah. some people do, like, Not rise Ellen. up. You know, you they got insane? one this funny. Maury Povich Sorry. territory. Yeah, Maury. Just because she made a joke. A little bit lower. A little bit yeah, lower. Yeah, maybe. El Dr. Phil. Do maybe Dr. Phil. But I mean, but it's like just like clearly a joke. It just, you know, it's just like. There is a whole other world out there. A world of parents sharing that on Facebook that it's like the funniest thing in the world, too. It's just crazy. The, I didn't realize the it was level. That big. <laughs> it's, it's she's like getting a, a TV show. Yeah, she's getting, she's, she's, she's on, she's show, on yeah. podcast. W wait. What if we got her on the podcast? Does she have anything more to talk about than. I mean, she, than just like the I mean, onomatopoeia sure. of spitting on a penis? I mean, when you saw me, he says, is this guy just a dog video guy? Or is there, you know, sometimes there's a lot more to a person. Well, I might check out her other podcast uh, guest spots. I yeah. think most of them are, from what I've seen, I mean, what I've seen is clips on TikTok, yeah. but she's normally like, yeah, I'm going to be doing a TV show and <laughs> just kind of more talking about the future her, her, yeah. or beautiful, bright future. Yeah. yeah. That rocks. Well, damn, dude. I mean, she's already reached heights. Yeah. Far surpassing us, <laughs> both of us. TV show, yeah. yeah I mean, combined. <laughs> That's I'm carrying true. a lot of weight in that combination. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, yeah. I mean, it is crazy. How you can just. It's a, I mean, back in the day, you did the like. I remember the guy. Oh, the white vans, Daniel video. Yeah, Vine was. They were pumping people out all the time. That'd be on Ellen or whatever. But they normally just got like a week. And I'm assuming. I mean, she's gonna get a week, but it is funny. Like she. She's actually getting booked on stuff, like, because it's like the least substance at a anyway. You know, she was at a concert, it's like singing with the artists. That is insane. Do you She's think her level would be as high if she wasn't attractive? Um, I think with most people, it plays some sort of or that definitely plays your, a part. Your like freak meter, like how freaky you look. Yeah. Can definitely plan it too, because like oh Hezbollah, yeah, if she was like a carny and said Haktua, yeah, that I think she would be at a similar level. Yeah, but attract if she was just middling unattractive, she, it would have gone nowhere. Yeah. It wouldn't even been a viral clip, I don't think. But it is weird how it works in scales like that. Would you rather be incredibly attractive or so grotesquely unattractive? I don't think she's no people. I wouldn't call her incredibly attractive. No, I'm asking you. Would you rather be incredibly oh, attractive? I thought you were saying or okay. so freakishly, weirdly looking that people like remember you for for centuries. Is this a real question? Yeah, it's a real question. Yeah. Yeah. Just would like I attractive. Be Brad Pitt or no, no, not like Brad be... Pitt level. Just like a tr an attractive oh, guy. So not Oh, you said really yeah. attractive. No, just okay, like attractive. So what level are we talking? Or here? just like insanely weird looking to the point where people are like, "Oh my!" It's like Andre the Giant. Like you're just such a strange human being that so they like, like Conan O'Brien hot, yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> or Jay Leno freak. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I'd just rather be hot. Yeah. Because I, I'm assuming that would your make whole life your would life. Yeah, but easier. I'm talking about so weird looking, you can make a career out of it. You know, you, you have something to Danny DeVito. Yeah, you have something to fall back on. I think I might I take think the weird. If you're really one. hot, you could make a career out of it. Not super. I'm not talking like supermodel. I'm talking just like an oh attractive guy. So like me currently. Yeah. Or like a free. You would like a jawline. Yeah. Versus me, if I had like, if I was two feet tall. <laughs> yeah. 
and like my ears were really big or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I would. I think I would. I think most people would say hot. Yeah, I think I think so too. Would you say hot? Why? Are you- uh, you know, I got asked the question. It was like, would you rather be incredibly handsome or incredibly ripped? And I was like, incredibly handsome. Yeah. Well, no, I was thinking. Well, does the ripped come with? Do I have to maintain that, <laughs> or can I just live my current lifestyle and like live a long time because I'm just in really great shape? I think I might take that. That's that sounds like a fucking steal. If I'm just good looking, yeah. I mean, I could get into shape, obviously, but that would take work. You know, I'm talking like I could just eat dog shit and be ripped and have like great cardiovascular that's why I, health. That's why I hate would you rather's yeah. and hypotheticals because there's always so many conditions. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of conditions there. But I also think it would probably eat you alive from the inside out if you got on this podcast and I just mugged the fuck out of you. I just I was so handsome. You just felt like an that ugly would little. Not bother me. That Most wouldn't bother of my you. My friends are that a lot more handsome you. than if, me, if, and it does not bother me. If all me. the comments were, like, "Oh my God, Sam, I'm coming looking at Sam." That's how incredibly handsome he is right now. Not you, Sam. <laughs> this yeah. Sam. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. If they yeah. said Sam, I would just switch you on just... my delusion, <laughs> yeah. and I go, "They mean me." Um, no, I don't. I don't think that. I'd be happy for you. Yeah, I would be happy for I mean, me probably, too. They're probably yeah somewhere in there. At the beginning, I might be like, what the hell happened? How did he get an eight pack? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Um, but I would rather be like, I don't, I'd rather be like known for something else than being like super attractive, you know? Yeah. That's why I would like, choose really rip. funny. I also think it would be funny to look like this, but have an eight pack. Wouldn't that be funny? Just be able to pull up the shirt and be like, look at this. I wonder if that'd make you more attractive or <laughs> just make you freakier no i think i would, that would definitely just be in the freaky freaky <laughs> territory it, yeah yeah and i would just i would wear the most insanely skin tight weird shit <laughs> <laughs> i would dress like uncle I mean, rico I w- from i would Napoleon. like that more too yeah know. if you looked like that I, w- I would have more fun on the podcast <laughs> You just were shredded yeah. and wore like deep cut shirts all the time. It'd be really funny. Always baby oiled. Always. Yeah. Like lights glistening off all the time. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but be like my roommate. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then there's the No. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <Can't, laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I did go so on like a uh, small to... trip to um oh, to the oh, beach. Wow. Oh, uh, it was it, it's I'm not much of a beach guy because this wasn't like a relaxing beach time. This was for Madeline's Kids. birthday. Yeah. Ugh. And so we went to this. It was like a place that was like beachfront. And then they had a lazy river and they had a, a pool shaped like a foot. And then they had like a playground, like a water playground park. And then they had like their own like private beach access area. And I thought, oh, this is excellent because they also had just like a bar out there. and. uh I was like, this is going to be great. I'm going to be able to just have places where the kids can play and I'll be able to relax. A fucking course wasn't like that. It was, we'd go to the beach for maybe 35 minutes and the kids would be like, I want to go to the lazy river. And we'd pack up all of our shit and go to the lazy river. And then they would go around the lazy river maybe twice and be like, I want to go to the foot shaped pool. And then we'd go to the foot shaped pool for like 30 minutes and be like, I want to go to the playground. Go. And then we, yeah, we'd just sit there and skip constantly going to each one. But, um, we, going to the pool, like one of the kids wanted like a different floaty or something like that. So they had like a little built in shop there that you could go in there and buy floaties and all the beach crap you wanted that the hotel owned. And I went in there and I was like, Hey, do you guys have floaties? And the lady behind the counter is like, what? And I'm like, floaties, like for kids, you put them on their arms so they don't drown. And she's like, what? And I'm like, like I look left and right. Like, are you insane? Like, do you not know what the fuck I'm talking about? Like floaties. You like put them on. I did like, like, like a, I did like a full miming thing of what a floaty was. And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she comes around the corner and I realize she has fucking head, like hearing aids. Like she's deaf. She's a deaf lady. And that would explain. Yeah, that would explain. Her action. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like completely blown away by that. And I was like, oh, she must be like watching the store or something like that. And then I had to go in there for something else. She was still working there. I noticed every person that came up was like, hey, do you have this? And she'd be like, huh? And then they would have to mime shit 
like once again, guys, I'm not ableist, but <laughs> yeah, that is an insane. It's starting to sound like a trend with you, but <laughs> yeah, guys, I, once again, I'm, I'm not ableist. She can't be president, and she can't work. Maybe being a cashier might, but not be a great play if you're deaf. All right, like uh, she was having the worst time. She was getting frustrated. Like, why are these people was keep it a big store? There was constantly people going in and out asking for shit. Yeah, there were. No, I know. I'm just saying, could you not like? Just look around the store and be like, oh, they don't have floaties it here? Was, or was it? it was one of those stores that was like uh, maybe 15 feet deep. It was like 15 by 20, and it just had products from floor to ceiling. Oh, yeah. And it had like, Overwhelming. They had like two aisles in there. And so you were just knocking into shit the entire time. Because they had like little sand buckets. They had little floaties. They had sunscreen. They had everything. Little sun hats, pool noodles. They had the whole nine. And this lady was being asked all day about stuff. And she was like, huh? What? It's just, I, I just don't feel, there has to be a better job out there. I feel like there has to be a better job for this lady. Train conductor. Something. <laughs> yeah. Person on the track going, stop the train. Yeah. <laughs> She's just vibing. I was just thinking something really loud, but yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. What are they saying? Yeah. Mime it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was just, uh, I don't know. It, I wonder why she owns the place. Maybe she might, or it, you know, it might've happened last week. She might've had somebody yeah, fucking she, mug her and put a pistol next to her ear and go, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just blow out her eardrums. I don't know. But all That's I'm saying is at my experience there, there was a lot of unhappy customers coming out. She didn't look happy. She was like, why can't I hear these people? You know? <laughs> I don't know, lady. You have a job where you talk to people all day, okay? Maybe it's not the best for you. Maybe you'd be like a typist or something. She's not like fully deaf, though, right? Because she had hearing aids. No, she aids, would try to so read your got... lips. And I wonder what the hearing aids are for, then. I, I don't know. Maybe if you... Were you like... Mumbling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I, like I, I, my grandfather was hard of hearing, so... I mean, I've, I've always tried to speak kind of loudly to people a little bit. I bark orders at people a little bit, you know? Yeah, 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 you're right. I've seen you in a store before. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you! Definitely. Pool floaty, yeah, now! I'm surprised you didn't like, mime something worse. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but besides that, the, the trip was... You should dox the place and get it review bombed. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was good besides that. Um, but and it was like the least relaxing vacation I've ever been to, though. It was... Uh, vacationing with kids where they have that much like shit right there they can fuck with. Yeah. Horrific. They can bounce around too much. Yeah, it, absolutely horrific. Uh, but going up to the mountains, I think that might be the play. Doing like a cabin oh. where you can just kind of let them run free in the fields. That's my type oh, yeah. of family vacation. But going to the beach, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not a big beach guy anyways. But I mean, either. Not only that, but I don't, I don't like know the- if you guys have anybody in Florida, you might know this, or maybe anybody on the in the Gulf area near the coast. But there has been like thousands of sharks that have been roaming the coast. And there's just been yeah. dozens of shark attacks in the past like it's month video with like a cartoon shark bite out of a woman's leg. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. It was hard to watch, but yeah, there's a lot of that going on. Looked around. like a shark bit her leg off. And, and not only really that, did. so there's like roaming gangs of sharks. And then also <laughs> on the like Gulf of Mexico side, there's just like a lot of poop Roaming in the water. Gangs. Oh. There's like a like sewage oh. problem with the water where they're like a uh, uh, flesh eating bacteria and just E. coli is on the rise in the Gulf. And I'm like, I don't want to fucking mm. swim there. There's a lot of sharks. There's poop water. Just doesn't seem like a good mix. And then I'm reading all this, and Abby goes, "Let's go to the beach." Yeah, why don't you get an open wound <laughs> yeah. so all that poop water can go right yeah. in it? Uh. But the well, lazy I, river was awesome, so that's nice. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Yeah. I uh, actually had a very relaxing trip. Went to Virginia to the Shenandoah Nash- National Park. I think, like, while I was area. there, like, after I came back and I was having just, like, I was trying to decompress from my bad vacation, you messaged me and you're like, I've read, like, multiple books. I've just been relaxing. I feel great. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. Fuck you. And, uh, my... My dad's family thinks I'm like the biggest fucking nerd ever, which I'm not. 
And because every like the last couple of times I got on vacation with them, I've just brought a random book where I'm like, I'm not even going to like it that much. I'm going to read like a page a day. And then I've just gotten hooked. And then like all day, I just sit out there on the porch and read a book. And I don't know why, but vac- vacation is like a perfect time to read a book, even though a lot of times here I could, but I've got all my screens. And, you know, I, it's like, do I want to read a book or do I want to play video game? Yeah, well, I'm probably going to pick video game when I'm vacation. It's like, I don't have my. I don't have any games and TikTok isn't as fun when you're, when you can see a mountain. So read, read a couple of books, really nice. Those roads in Virginia. Wow. Uh, you guys have got it made $10 poles or tolls, but, uh, that's like, that was one of the first signs of like, I, I feel like an old ass dude. Cause everywhere I went, I was blown away by how nice the roads were. Like I didn't see a pothole. In four days. Let me tell you something. Even in, as in a the recent sticks. guy that's been to Indiana, those are some of the worst roads I've ever seen anywhere. Those, yeah. no, I know. they I'm, might be worse I'm than Alabama's to... roads. And Alabama's fucking yeah. horrific. But... Yeah, not that bad. Well, specifically, yeah, Indy, there's a lot of just parts where it's like, it'll just swallow up your car. Yeah. And everyone on the road's driving like left, right, left, right. Both lanes are swerving at each other. Virginia, I got a rental that was just, the new version of my car and I drove on those roads. And I'm like, maybe I don't hate driving. <laughs> maybe I just hate driving in Indiana. Cause I felt like I was like gliding. I felt like I, I would look down like, Holy shit, I'm going 250 miles an hour. I did not even realize I was going that <laughs> fast. Uh, I'd be going like 80, but I'm like, uh, there was not, there was no, no dead animal. Well, there was a lot of dead animals, but they pushed them to the side really quick. There was no, you know, in Indy, I've hit a full ass dog. Not that was living. It was already dead. I'm like, how long has this been out of here? This is horrible. And then, you know, if you try to avoid the dog, you go into a pothole that'll blow your car up. So being out there, I was like, I just felt, I felt, you know, like I was in God's country. I get the term when I go to a place like that, just rolling fields, beautiful hay bales, so many cows. There was a chicken farm pretty close to where we stayed. And it hit about a hundred degrees two days in a row, and holy shit, you could smell chicken, <laughs> just like dead chicken or yeah. chicken shit from miles away. And it's right <clears throat> next to the river where every activity took place. And they're like, "Yes, waters, it must be clean because you can see through." And then the guy that we went there to visit, that we well, he's like my sister's fiance, he's a park ranger, and. He's like, uh, we've actually been having a lot of problems with E. coli from all the chicken farms. When it rains, they just kind of all the shit slides right into the river. So yeah, I was like, well, that kind of takes away a little bit. And just know, I wish you hadn't told me that because I'm gonna be in it anyway. Yeah. Why do I have to worry about this now? And then I got back to Indiana. As soon as I got back, it's like pseudo bachelor party. My friend, we had a lot of people staying here, and we went rafting. You live in Indy, the White River. Holy shit, you couldn't see like a centimeter in the water. It was so dirty looking, but they're all like, ah, we're north of the city, so it doesn't have all the bad. And water was gross, but really, I've never, I never really do that. Just Is it like brown? With beer? Or something? Or? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, <clears throat> and also the water would change depth so quickly that like, I got, my, my ass was just destroyed by some rocks a couple times because You'd, you'd get in and try to guide your group and you, you'd be fully submerged. And then four seconds later, it's like you're, you know, it's an inch of water. rafting or was it tubing? No, it's two. It's like Tubi- thick okay. tubes. Yeah, and tubing. then you add a cooler oh. on a tube and then you make a big circle and you all link up. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. Really, that was actually really fun. Uh, for There's Fourth a place July. here. Uh, the Itchituckney River is what, oh, is what we, uh, we go tubing down here. And yeah, there's moments where... Um, it doesn't happen a lot here because we don't have a lot of rocks, but I have been tubing where all of a sudden it gets shallow and your legs get mangled by a bunch of boulders <laughs> under the water. Yeah, I, and you're like, I, ah! <laughs> trying to pull yourself a, up. Rock goes straight up my ass. <laughs> like, felt it like hit my guts. Yeah. Like, oh, it threw up everywhere. It was just like shocking. And uh, I was worried about like scrap metal <laughs> and stuff just being in the bottom because yeah. it's a pretty gross river. And yeah. honestly, it's just like trash and stuff. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful time. Our, it also our tubing, I'm, I'm always scared of like alligators and stuff. Oh, which yeah. I guess I, you have way more to worry about. Yeah, 
And, River monsters made me a little more worried about catfish. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, some of those catfish are had to worry about. so big. I've heard like yeah. horror stories Man of them eaters. like, yeah, they'll like grab kids and stuff or like small dogs. Oh. Yeah. That's weird. But I, rafting is a lot of fun. I do have like a great childhood picture of I went um, on like a great family vacation with somebody else's family. It was my, my best friend growing up. His name was Gavin. And I still have this picture of we went, we went rafting and like during the rapids part, they paid to have some guy that worked for the, the tubing company, like take a picture of, of every group that went past. And then they try to sell it to you afterwards. The, the picture yeah. they took. Yeah. And, um, he bought pictures of, of us going down the, the, uh, rapids and gave it to each of us. And, uh, in that picture, Gavin's dad's shorts are hiked up into like a man thong because I guess all the water just like hiked him up. And so uh. you just see his fucking like cock and balls being throttled. And it's such a like a hilariously embarrassing photo. He was like, Oh God, I don't want that. And we were like, we want it. Cause we're in the, <laughs> like, we're going like, Whoa. And now that I'm an adult, I look at that picture. I just laugh. Cause I'm like, dude, he obviously did not want us. to." Have that photo. Yeah. He was like, Oh fuck. I didn't realize how like tight my pants were and everything. But yeah. I, I got so scorned while we were there because we went to a cavern where they did that at the beginning before you go in. They had a big green screen. And I looked down, and I, was we I was wearing a green screen green <laughs> shirt. And I was like, ha ha, like, this is going to be so funny in the picture because my whole body's going to blend in. It's the same color as the green screen. And we got out and those goddamn magic workers, I mean, <laughs> perfectly just looked like it. my shirt. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh man, like I would have bought it. If you hadn't done this, but now it's just like I'm an asshole in a green shirt. Yeah. Also, it's just weird that they have like insanely beautiful caves where there's paths everywhere and like tour guides in there and it's really well lit. And they take your picture on a green screen and then superimpose you in the cave into that cave. And it looks so fake. I'm like, you could have waited about four minutes <laughs> and we would have been in there like yeah. under your power. You could just take the picture in the cave. <laughs> Uh, it's just weird. I'm yeah. like, wow. Why are we? Maybe the rocks are like photosensitive or something. Oh, you you know that could yeah, it could be something like <laughs> yeah. that. But oh, fuck them. I mean, they're rocks. <laughs> yeah, they're rocks. Dude. They also told me not to spit my gum at them, but you didn't <laughs> yeah. see that stop me. Yeah. Also, while I was in Virginia, I saw Omid live and his friends, and that was a lot of fun. There's not really like any crazy stories from it. It's almost it's weird that I I went on a very relaxing vacation, and one of the first thoughts I had was. Wow, nothing like crazy happens. I don't have any fun stories, which is a weird way to weird lens to look at a otherwise very nice time seeing my family and friends. But it almost wished like I've been thrown in some circumstances or something funny happened. I think really one of the highlights was me wearing a green shirt with a green screen. That was your that was your highlight and the roads. Yeah. And reading. Oh, I read really good books. But no, great to see Amid. Shout out. Podcast shout out to Amid. Yeah, that, uh, that's what I was actually going to do. I was like, we should shout them out. Our, our comrades, uh, Omid and Z Chum and Devin, have made a, uh, a podcast called yeah. Gaslighters. Yeah, Gaslit Podcast. Gaslit. Gaslit Podcast. I was actually, I'm going to Google it right now to make sure I don't say it wrong, because I thought it was just Gaslit, but also it could totally be Gaslighter. It's Gaslit. Gaslit? Well, I looked up Gaslit, and it didn't pop up, so I guess their SEO well, they're is off. they just starting off. Yeah. yeah. And they're not really our comrades. They're more our competition. Oh, yeah, so never get mind. too fucking excited, yeah, guys, don't get, about checking them out. You can look, but you cannot Don't say. get invested, you know? Yeah. Just look. Give them a thumbs up. And then keep walking, you know. Go in their comments and say, this one's like their poop. This one's like their Sam. <laughs> this one's Brian. <laughs> and stalled is one of them. Yeah. And yeah, I'm sure they'd love that. <laughs> yeah, They won't let us be on it as guests, <laughs> which is okay. We're yeah. not scorned. Yeah, I'm not that. seething over that. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, most of them have been on this podcast, but yeah. it's cool. if They don't have to have us on theirs. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Anyway, shout out. <laughs> shout out those guys. You should go check them out. If you like, if you like video games or something, I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Do they, don't they have like a theme for their their podcasts? That, that I think th- that makes it's, it's already much better production than this. Yeah. Okay, we shouldn't <laughs> dwell on that. Yeah, we shouldn't. You shouldn't really look into how much uh, it, more planning. No, I mean it has, has like a title. That's like it's got like a title where I mean like it's. What do you mean a title? It's called like gaslit, right? I'm mean, I'm assuming that's the theme of it is that oh. they're they're gaslighting each other or something, right? Well, like they pull, like I know in the first one I made like gaslit Zichum a little, like just made up a fake story, but I I think it's more just because they like gaslighting. Oh, okay. I could be really wrong about this. Yeah, guys, why don't you check it out and let us know in the comments <laughs> below. Is that theme is that standard? The theme? There's only two episodes. Okay. But is that more of a theme or something they just like? Yeah. All right. Now comment below. Pause this video and go watch <laughs> both of their both episodes. Full podcast. Yeah. Both full yeah, podcast. Third one coming out soon. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Actually, I had a fucking bad time seeing me. It was awful. <laughs> horrible host. This guy was really scared to drive in D.C. with a rental car. Um. But I didn't get in a crash or anything. It was really nice. Was I've never been old. to DC, but oh, it's beautiful. Every every opportunity I've had, it's always been like a school field trip or something, which was yeah. before I well, one I was always too bad of a kid to go on those. They kicked me off the DC field trip because I was a behavioral issue. Okay. But now that I'm an adult you're, and I have... You're like a bad person or something, <laughs> dude. Now that I'm an adult and I have an appreciation for history, I would love... Oh, yeah. I would love to go to D.C. You know what I found out recently? There's no John Adams memorial. He doesn't have a memorial or anything. One of our founding fathers. He doesn't have a memorial in, in D.C. Are you kidding me? Guys, let's get him a statue. Yeah, well, they, got a, they got the giant Washington Monument. They got Lincoln's oh, Memorial. They have... It, well, I mean, more Washington's important. more important, but yeah, John I mean, Adams, he drafted, he drafted the Constitution. That's important. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, he drafted the Decl- draft. Declaration of Independence, I think. Okay. Yeah. But still big. Uh, still big. Um, yeah, I've never actually been for, our school never sent us there for any cool, like, check out all this shit. Yeah. And when I go with Omid, you know, people that live there they're like yeah he, he go doesn't go to the fucking, archives or whatever yeah they don't want to see i mostly shit, just want to go cool. so i can be like oh it's like fallout 3 isn't the museum from night at the museum there so i would like to check that out that's, that's one of like the big points yeah some of that stuff um but now i just kind of we just went to a couple bars and that was it he did have you know drew handsome drew yeah. tall drew we met one of his friends at one point and it was pretty funny how quickly he clocked and we didn't listen to him about what his friend would try to do. Cause we, we had just gotten a really nice, you know, it's one of those crowded ass bars, which I'm getting pretty old. Cause I said, I just need a table somewhere. And we finally get a table on a rooftop. We're overlooking everything. It's beautiful. And then his friend comes over and is like, guys, we should really go to the speakeasy down the street like 40 minute line we're all like oh dude fuck that sounds horrible yeah. we don't even really know you man and then he gave this like really rousing speech where he kind of fell off at the end but about hey you know today i went to my best friend in the world's wedding blah blah and he, he wrapped it up with like it's about the friends you or it's about the family you make in this life and it's just like a really touching kind of anecdote about friendship and how important it was. And Omid was pulled in. And this guy's like, it's like, what do you say? Why don't we actually go to that speakeasy after all? And Omid's like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. And I was like, yeah, you know what? That was a pretty good speech. I'll go. And Drew's like, dude, he does this all the fucking time. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's got, a, it's like a sweet speech. Like he wants to go hang out with us there. On the way out of the bar, he just sees like a random group of girls. He's like, hey, we're going to speakeasy. Come with me. Worked. And then he just ditched us and went in there and just never saw him again. <laughs> and I felt like so Shanghai. But it was pretty funny that Drew's like, he's going to like, he does this. Yeah. No one does that. And then it was like a pretty good speech. Like it was honestly pretty moving. It got to meet out of his seat in five seconds after he concluded. But 
it was just really funny to me that afterwards, in, I'm like, oh, wow, he is a guy that does this, I guess. Like, he just wanted us to go with him. He I didn't don't actually feel like it would be it. very difficult to rouse Omid up we to do anything, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't have to be, like, a, a great table. orator or something to get Omid to join your side. I have a dream. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing you. <laughs> yeah. A media, he probably could have been like. He could have been like, hey, "I man, have a drink," please. and the media would yeah. be like, "I'm fuck, I'm your dude. I'm I'm right there. I'm right." It there. was funny too. I saw me get. Well, he probably wouldn't even. Nah, he probably wouldn't like me telling it. I light detail. He shit his pants. He kept. He oh kept like God. patting Drew like really hard, and Drew's like, "Dude, I introduced you to one of my friends, and he later told me like, wow, that Omid guy like pats really hard.'" I mean, it's like, I don't do that. Like, I'm just doing like a, and Drew's like, dude, it hurts. Like, it, it hurts. <laughs> Drew's like fucking huge. If, yeah, if like, Drew's saying yeah. it hurts, he pats too hard. Okay. I'm like, for the I mean, for the audience little, at home, Drew yeah. looks like Captain America. Okay, the guy's fucking huge. He's jacked. Yeah. And uh, if, if, if you're hurting him, you're patting way too hard. Yeah, I rolled my eyes Man. too when I saw that guy. Yeah. I was like, fuck you, dude. Who invited this guy? You stand over there, oh, away oh, from yeah, me. Dude, I hate when he stands by yeah. us, in which he, of course, he does because we're there with him. <laughs> but at one point, a guy came up and was like, kind of hitting on Franco, and then he was like, "Well, but sorry, I don't like short guys." Franco's like, "I'm six one. I'm just standing next to this <laughs> yeah. guy, so you think I'm short? Like, I'm a, I'm above average." <laughs> He's like, mm, "I'm more interested in this tall guy." Like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Everyone in this bar is. He, do, he does well, though. I mean, yeah. he's got a girlfriend, and girls would just be like, hey, and he's like, no, back up. <laughs> and they would. Like, that's really, yeah. that's really well done. It's yeah. actually, you probably have a lot of experience. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you ask Drew, would he rather look like himself or be a little freak <laughs> that people remember yeah. in history? Yeah, yeah that hypothetical doesn't say, work with people yeah. like Drew. Yeah. Would you rather just... But he's not Brett... You're not Brett. I almost called him Brett Favre. <laughs> Brad Pitt hot. Yeah. You know? And you said it. No, no, just like pretty. Yeah, just like pretty attractive. I'd say the Drew falls in that. Yeah. So you want to be Drew, or do you want to be Carrot Top? Like, which one are you? No, I don't. I don't want to be Top's rich. I don't want to be Carrot Top. I, you you People mentioned Danny DeVito. Him. Yeah, and uh, like freakish to the point where, like where it's funny. Danny DeVito all the way. Yeah, I'd, Danny DeVito. I feel like has, I feel like he's told stories about. Like, he had to become this guy he was, or else he would have died as like a little freak. Like I'd probably just be the guy that couldn't make it, so that yeah, I like would a, just like people wouldn't remember me. They'd just be like, they'd remember me in their own life. Be like, God, I still remember that guy at Kroger. Yeah, really weird looking little guy. But they, I, wouldn't I mean, be that's in what a legacy is. At the end of the day, would you read? I mean, it's the same thing. The, the only difference is, is that Danny like, DeVito has an IMDb web, like you know. He's got his whole. I'm gonna try to, while looking like a normal guy, leave a legacy of that of a fr- little guy that looks like a freak. It's easier to do if you look like a freak. More though. handsome. It's way yeah, easier to definitely. do. Definitely. Yeah, carnies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. sideshows. Yeah. Do you think the the bearded woman is glad of her place in history? Just because people remember. I think so, or else she would have fucking elephant shaved. Man. I think the elephant man's like a really nice story about a guy that went down. <laughs> People will remember me. Uh, nah. Yeah. I'd rather be Drew. <laughs> God, it looks so cool. He could just see well, over I, everyone's okay, heads. There. That's true. Uh, he, he could see every, over everybody's head. But I'm already going to a concert. I think I'm tall enough. Tall. I don't think I... There, there gets a point where it's like... Grass is always greener. Like, if Drew falls down a staircase, by the time he hits the bottom, he's going, like, Mach 1. Like, he's going to splat. Like, it, there's a point where you're so big... You know, a little tumble. If Danny DeVito falls down a staircase, he'd probably land on his feet. He'll roll down it like a ball. You just do be like roll, a roll, roll, yeah, roll, roll. Like a circus stand. trick. But uh, I don't know. I'm also married and I have kids and stuff. If I got handsome, it would fuck up my marriage. It would fuck up the dynamic. It would go to my yeah, head. You'd leave your wife. I would go. I would go to TwitchCon. I'd get strange. You know, because I've never had that opportunity where like women like, are coming on to me. Or- you know, I've never, I, I've never yeah. once what do you mean had you a get strange. Like you get strange, like pussy, like you cheat on her or like you Dude, get weird. It, it, I, I have never had the temptation of a woman going like, I want to fuck yeah. that guy. If that happened, I don't know what I would do. It'd probably go to your big ass. It would, it would go ex- straight to my head. Uh, yeah. And then you'd learn a big lesson. And by the end of, by, yeah, midnight, by the end of it, I'd turn back into your freak self and be, I miss my wife. Yeah. 
I would be a really good movie. It would be that SpongeBob episode. I would just end up trying yeah. to hit my head against the door to get ugly again. Yeah. I miss my little life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It it would very quickly go to that. But uh yeah. that's why I would rather look like a I would freak. Change. No, I, I would probably choose the freak thing and then Abby would leave me. <laughs> so would, oh yeah, I, you didn't even take her. I, yeah. Abby, I did this for us. I could have looked <laughs> Abby, like that pit. You, you wanna fuck I me now that I'm like a freak? <laughs> I did this for our marriage. So freakish that I have a uh, wiki page. Abby, you don't, you don't get it. If I was way hotter than you, I'd leave you. Yeah. So I chose this little freak so that you would stay with me. You're just not getting it. <laughs> See, she doesn't get it, dude. She doesn't get it. Yeah. Now we're equal. Yeah, now we're equal. <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> we're like Danny DeVito and it's like kind of normal wife, but she's also looks like Danny DeVito. Yeah, she's- She's also like a, sh- a small person. Right? She's just like woman Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deborah uh, Libido. Yeah. That's, that is funny. To, <laughs> yeah. This, no one ever talks about how boring it is just being a normal person. You don't get any of the extremes. Yeah. Someone might hit on you every once in a while, but no one's <laughs> ever. Yeah. But it's after they hit on Drew and he goes, uh uh-uh, uh, girlfriend. And they go, <laughs> that did happen. I probably talked about this, but last time we went to DC. There was one girl that, like, they knew, felt really bad for. I've never seen someone's confidence, like, visually decline. I've never seen someone fall so far from grace. But she hit on Drew. I was like, are you, like, a basketball player or something? And he's like, no, I'm taken. And then she, like, looked over to, like, Omid or someone. I was like, what's your deal? And he's like, no. <laughs> and then she, you know, like, go, let's say, 10 more guys. So she came to me and was like, you look like you play hockey. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't. She's like, oh, cool. I'm like, uh, have you met Lettuce? And then she's like, you look like you play hockey. And he's like, no. <laughs> and then it's like, all right, here's Peanut. And then like, she just like literally hit on every person we were with. And every guy was like, we're about to go to a casino. Like, <laughs> this is not the time. And she was like, honestly, pretty. Like, I'm like, I know some of you guys like need this. And uh, nope, she just went all the way down the line. Struck and just out, out of off. everybody. Yeah. yeah, she struck out like back to back to back to back to back. Though I've never seen that, yeah. especially with a woman. Yeah, pretty. Like, I'm actually I'm happy pretty, to hear that. Harrowing. That's a, on a, an awesome, humbling experience. I like it. I like watching other people get humbled. I don't like getting humbled, but I I love watching other people get humbled. You know, uh. And that's awesome that it happened to her and not to me. <laughs> it's awesome yeah. that I got told to, to me from you. But I like that, that she said I looked like a hockey player. I thought that cool. was really nice yeah. of her. But I said, nah. too little, too late. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw you ask like four other guys that. Different sports, golf players. People that, nah, okay. No, that's actually not a compliment. If someone says like you look like you play ba- basketball, I'd be like, okay, that's cool. But hockey players are all missing their teeth. They're all fucking like their noses are all fucked up. They all have mullets, uh, yeah. you know. They're all. No, oh, that's where. Yeah. I think that's the basis. Yeah, mullet missing There's specific teeth. type of people that are very into that, though. That's true. Yeah. Hockey girls. <laughs> Did you hear that? Um, uh, oh God, what's that streamer's name? There's a uh, sketch. Sketch. Yeah. He. <laughs> Another pop culture current moment. Yeah, that's like a current now. moment that uh, he yeah. came out that he had like a gay only fans. You know, the, in the past it's honestly just like really sad all the shit I've seen online well what's sad is like there's it. people that are just like I am never watching you again no that's what I and mean like, you're like what the fuck I, just like all the comment sections on TikTok I'm like whoa <laughs> thought we were maybe a little past this <laughs> yeah. nah yeah it's, yeah. it's just I like knew racism thousand. was alive and well I didn't realize homophobia yeah. was still alive and kicking I feel like it's oh, I feel like time. homophobia is on a on the rise it's cool again to be homophobic. There was a lot of comments about like, this must be his humiliation ritual. Like that's how he got so famous, which already it's like, as soon what? as someone brings that up, I'm like, have you not heard of? Yeah. That's like, the, like Hollywood that's humiliation the rituals. Illuminati. That, yeah. yeah. It's the new, like this guy wore a dress once. It was his humiliation ritual. I'm like, yeah. I've done like a thousand humiliating things and I've never gotten any big props for it you know i've never got a big boost to my viewers yeah just a little sad that i guess there's like a path out there where you can just do like a minor thing anywho yeah it's the comments if i was him like you know what i'd do is i would deny it 
across the oh, board. Yeah. At the same time, I would be pumping out on the OnlyFans insanely <laughs> aggressive, grotesque gay porn, like the most, like, just full ass spit roasting, and and just be like, no, that's little, not like, me. Finger <laughs> the ass. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that's me. It's not me. You know the amount. Like people would be sitting there subscribing to it. Yeah. It'd be. Yeah. He would be $50 huge. Dollar tier. He'd be huge on OnlyFans overnight. And then he yeah. just keeps streaming going like, I mean, he's guys, already... it's not me, obviously. And you see, I thought his... it's the same Did room and everything. His... <laughs> yeah. like... Got his headset on. The guys that banged him are Everybody... in the background, just like walking yeah. around rehydrating. And shit. Oh, towelling up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get a sweat off. <laughs> Damn, you filled me. <laughs> Uh, did you see his video at all talking about it? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I like his first, like, oh, let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> I got a haircut. I'm like, okay, it's kind, of, <laughs> it's kind of funny way to deal with it all. And I don't know, it's just, and then he talked, he was like gonna kill himself once this was found out <laughs> or something. Yeah. Well, it's a good plan. A, I mean, everyone's got that. <laughs> you know, if that one thing comes out, you got to kill yourself. Yeah. It's good to have. What's yours? It's like a go bag. Yeah, let me get my gun so I can tell you <laughs> yeah. it and then immediately go into action. Yeah. You know what yeah, mine is? Nothing. Mine is all those fucking messages to potential guests where I'm like, please, please come on the fucking show. Groveling. Yeah. yeah. Mine's like those, but to girls' tenders in college. <laughs> please, please, please fuck me. Uh, yeah, or something. Yeah. Um, But yeah, the it is funny too. I've been seeing people like bring up like, this is getting a lot more. He's getting a lot more heat than like Doctor Disrespect, yeah. or like yeah. being a pedophile. But yeah, what are you gonna do? It's the uh, it's the streamer sphere. It's the it's that kick culture or something. Yeah. Also, he's like super ingrained in sports and like you know, there's a we don't have to get into all that, but a lot of homophobia in sports. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I don't You're know. Telling me that, yeah, it's a bunch of you dudes delete. wrestling out there in the field. I figured they'd be all about it. Not how it works, how it but works. perfect world. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting boners too. That's true. But uh, is there an openly uh, gay UFC fighter? I don't know. I feel like I mean, it's still like I think a lot of athletes probably if they, I know there are openly gay athletes, but yeah. it, most of them talk about later like just how much it changes things. In oh, the like in, in the yeah, stuff. in the team environment. Yeah. But I'm saying adversarial. Yeah. Your MMA fighter. Be smart. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you understand? Do you know the fear you would have you. if if like Rampage Jackson, Vanderlei Silva, someone like that just looks at you and goes like, <sighs> Chuck Liddell. Yeah, Chuck Liddell. If he blows you a kiss before a round, you'd be like, oh fuck! <laughs> like, not only is this guy gonna kick my ass, but he's like, he's like, oh, I'm gonna finish oh, you. Oh, yeah, like fingering his yeah. mouth, looking at you. Yeah, I'd be fucking scared. And, uh, <laughs> I just, I, I think I'd be pretty scared of like Anderson Silva if he was like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I might be more scared. I'm going to kiss you. I'd be like, weird, but I did not expect that. Okay. I don't know. He's like, I'm going to fucking rip you apart. I'd be like, oh my God. I have seen, I have seen. What's the worst? A Greco, wants no, to kill me or kiss me. I've seen a Greco Roman wrestler. The reason why I bring this up is I've seen a Greco Roman wrestler. Straight up fish hook a guy's asshole with four fingers, oh. like through his leotard. Like, got is that legal? I don't think so. No, because I remember in the video the ref is on the other side and he's he's blurred out and he's doing this. Holy shit! He, yeah, he's going like this. Like, where's his hand? His hand's disappearing into his ass. Let me smell your fingers. Yeah. Let me smell your fingers. Yeah. Did you go in? <laughs> I saw him. You know, knowing that that's a possibility in the ring. Yeah. yeah if I knew Vanderlei was like, if he takes off just, the fucking BDSM harness before he crawls into the octagon, yeah. I'd be fucking sweating. Okay. More yeah. so than if regular Chuck Liddell or whatever comes in and was just like, I'm going to fucking gonna kill, kill you. you and yeah. I'm going to beat you to death. Yeah. Okay, if he, if he says he's going to beat you to death and he also has like, there's a sexual you. component. Oh yeah. I'm scared. I'm, it's extra I'm going to beat you off this mat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially I just knowing <laughs> knowing that homophobia is on the line too. Like knowing that because homophobia, yeah, they, they fear you're... them. It's in the title. Yeah. They fear gay people. That's a that's an insane Ew. fighting edge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you kiss them while you I mean, got them in yeah, a headlock too. They'll be. That's they'll a freak good point. Out. At this at this point, every pregame, they're like, "I'm gonna beat the shit out of you." They're used to it. Yeah. 
I'm gonna, so what? I'm That's what we're here come. for. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, and I might fucking grab your dick a little bit while I'm down there. I might four finger your asshole. You've never experienced yeah. that before, you know. I'm gonna put my phone number in your pocket <laughs> during this, and you're gonna want to call it later. <laughs> Will I? Oh my god! <laughs> put some, put some in an arm bar. Takes his phone out of his pocket. Takes dick pic. Puts it back in his pocket. Yeah, my dick's on your phone now. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, you're going to send one back later? You're just going <laughs> to let me have all the power. Get really in their head. What, 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 is, what gives me more power? I saw a video that, like yesterday of a guy being choked out and he starts tickling the other guy's foot. I'm like, is that legal? Like, what if you are like insanely ticklish? Yeah. Like, they'd be. You can't help it. Yeah. Like, do they train that out of them, or is it just like frowned? Do you know? Like, you know when like a, a a car lands on a couple children and the mom gets like mom strength and she like lifts up the car. Oh. You ever heard of that? I feel yeah. like I have the equivalent strength if someone's tickling my feet. Like, if you have oh. me on the ground and you're pinning me, do not tickle my feet. Okay, if you tickle my feet, oh. I think I could I could throw you forty feet up into the fucking. I'd throw you <laughs> into the lights above the ring. Okay. Do not, Scary. I, the only time I've had a, uh, no, not the only time. The only time I've had a, one of the only times I've had a domestic dispute with Abby where it's resulted in her getting hurt has been her tickling me and me thrashing about. Uh, guys, clip that. <laughs> clip, okay. yeah, clip that. No, she. Guys, comment below what you think you did to her the other time. <laughs> she, she tickled me on the ribs and I fucking like freaked out and elbowed her in the head. Uh, and then the other time was she, I was like facing the wall and she put a cold, can of coke on the side of my cheek and i went like ah and i turned around and elbowed her and i i'm really good at fucking throwing elbows in a lady's heads Mm, that's my time she burnt some meatloaf and i (laughs) been drinking one time she said stuff to me that i didn't quite like the tone of you know i accidentally just elbowed her multiple times on the top of being condescending to me (laughs) are you looking me in the eyes was that slightly off kilter (laughs) okay i guess i'm gonna kill her and then grabbed her yeah i yeah uh, one time i got rolled into a blanket and then my feet tickled and then <laughs> then you're trapped yeah and that was yeah. that was scary. you could have busted right out of that blanket though every thread <laughs> like if you put me in one of those hannibal lecter straight jackets on a fucking furniture dolly wow. and you tickle my feet i would have that people would have sworn the the fucking hulk got a hold of that fucking straight yeah. jacket when i'm finished with it you don't want to see me when I'm <laughs> you, tickled. You want to see me when I'm tickled, dude. When, when I'm tickled, I'm it's, yeah, it's different, okay? <laughs> the rage comes out when I'm tickled. Yeah. God. <laughs> Everyone with older siblings or dads, sorry for those people out there that never got held down and tickled real hard. Yeah. But it is like, uh, yeah, I used to like, I would be like crying because my older brother would just, I mean, he's just so much bigger than me. He'd, just be tickling me, and they'd always go. Then why are you laughing? If you want, if you want us to stop, why are you laughing? I'd be like, ah, 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 ah. and then it's like they win because mm-hmm. I am laughing. Why <laughs> is it really that bad? Look yeah. at me laughing. Or they used to grab the back of my shirt and they'd say like, "Go, to the, go get me something from the fridge." And I'd try to walk and I couldn't walk, and they'd be like, "Go get it now!" And I'd be like, "I can." And they're like, "Why aren't you going?" And then I. <laughs> similar thing i do the same thing to my kids they we, yeah. we have like it's fun we have like a wood floor and then they with they, they have socks on abby will be like hey kids you want ice cream or something and they'll be like well let's go and they'll run into the kitchen i'll grab the back of their shirt and they'll be doing like the running in place <laughs> like dad let go of me i'm not i'm not, not even me. touching you Dude, you laugh now and then one day they're gonna you're gonna let go and they're gonna go <laughs> fly out of the room. like yeah. a cartoon oh i i got madeline with the the like i held i was like pull your hand trying to not let me move oh. your hand and i was holding her hand and then i let go and she smacked herself in the face oh, right so before classic. bed too yeah i was like oh my yeah. god you're such a sap anyways i love yeah. you kid good night I'm give her a little kiss. Teaching you a tennis. lesson yeah, about being gullible. <laughs> By the way, it's written on the ceiling. Then when they look up, bam, punch. Down. Keep your eyes on your enemy. <laughs> they have a, a extendo boxing glove on the ceiling. Just for the, <laughs> <laughs> stand on this X, <laughs> and on the ceiling it says. <laughs> <laughs> Big punchy bag swings and flies her out the window. Yeah, 
That'd be funny. It'd be funny due to a kid because they're so tiny. Yeah. You wouldn't need a big punching <laughs> punching glove or anything. Uh, uh. <laughs> Did you ever see like when I had that uh the the PO box? Somebody sent in like a it was a box that was supposed to have a a boxing glove that came shooting out of it. Oh, that's, I did not know they sold those. <laughs> or did he make it? He made it himself in his garage. And so, so funny. He used like a, a fucking like car spring or something. Like it was like weight. It was so heavy. And like, I, that's so funny. I had the box and the box was like the, the top of it was under such tension. It was like bulging. And I could see in the crack, like the glove and I could see like the spring. I'm like, dude, this guy's, this could, this could have like bursted and killed the UPS man. It was like the most, it was like so much pressure in there, and I was like, I'm not gonna it. open like, it. Like worry. I'm I'm scared that Abby. there's gonna be like bolts shooting off of this thing uh-huh. if I open it. So I just put it out on the back porch, and I I tried hitting it with a broomstick a couple times and like prying the lid open. I couldn't get it open, and I was like, I think it's like defective. Like I couldn't. I didn't want to sit there Did and you like ever open it. No, I could. I, what are you gonna lean over it and try to? Like, there's a full, con- like, what'd you do with it? It went into the garbage. <laughs> That's one of them. A guy set up a full, Dude, this thing, like, scale Looney Tune yes. trap on you. This, and you just no, threw it this away. was so over engineered and so. He used suspension springs for it, dude. This was, like, under pressure. This metal, it was metal and plywood and shit. It was, like, so heavy. You know how much you have to care to build a I know. trap like that? I know. And then to just throw it away. Yeah, but Never at the same time. No satisfaction. What if there was other stuff in it? Okay. It was in the video. It was the first thing in the video. There was a lot of concern around it. But he did not get the payoff of watching me get my head ripped off. No, he didn't. Okay. I don't care how much time and effort he put into it. Why would you open it towards a wall or something? I just... <laughs> Dude. I, the, it's just awesome. The, the top of the box was under so much pressure. I was scared. Okay. Not only that, but to send that in to someone that has kids. <laughs> that could, well, I mean, the guy's a psycho. They could have punched my just, kid up into the fucking yeah. ceiling. <laughs> and yeah. it was a big I mean, plywood just, lid. Like, if, if they go to unlatch it and the fucking lid just, like, catches oh. them under the chin or something. No, it was, uh, it was scary. It was scary. I thought it was just in a box, but that's... It was... Uh, ah, imagine... So okay, imagine the, uh, the, the punching gag... Acme punching gag box, but in the world of Mad Max. That's what this was like. Whoa. It was like, it was that level, okay? Of that level of like post apocalyptic dangerous engineering. Um, actually, so it, cool. it was really cool, but it was also like. Dude, you could have like maybe recalibrated that to use it for your own. I could have, yeah. Things. Yeah. Or you could have paid your brother to open it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, heck. Hey, there's a hamburger in there. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if it punches head clean off? <laughs> Sorry, no. Hey, hey, man, I'll give you a twenty. You open that box for me. Yeah, sure thing, brother. I love you. <laughs> Plywood. <laughs> shoots his head off yeah. suspiciously he's got like a good job now all of a sudden he's too fucking big for cooking videos okay oh. he's like oh no i don't give a fuck you about like that, the food <laughs> yeah <laughs> you like the the clam chowder popsicles that make you puke when you lick them come on you dude. did it because you liked it come on <laughs> you just got to get his love back into the game a little bit make him some kind of gross, but not too gross. This is a hot dog I sat dude, on for an hour. Dude, he, he doesn't eat eggs. Okay, like a person that's uh, that picky. Yeah. He's like a he's like a Sturdecky. He does it. He eats like uh, chicken oh, fingers and French fries. I don't know anyone's Sturdecky level, but yeah. Oh, I really didn't expect that. Um, I expect it. Not sorry if you're listening. I didn't expect you to you know eat garbage or anything, but I would just figure from all descriptions of you. He wouldn't be a picky eater. He, I think the, the most he goes for, like the weirdest thing he'll go for, just kind of a regional thing, is he'll eat like, um, like collard greens, yeah. which is like, that's just like a Southern thing. But besides that, no, he's super picky. He's like, he's like a, he, he'll, he kind of self classifies as a foodie, but his foodie is like, can't be a picky eater and a foodie. No, his foodie stuff is like, 
artisan hamburger with artisan french fries in different combinations. You know, he's like, whoa. Non-oven chicken tender. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Double fried chicken tender. Kid cuisine. Yeah. No, you don't Put get it, the Sam. These fries are like the fries that you get at rallies or checkers. They're the double yeah. fried yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a foodie, if I do say so I, myself. He doesn't eat anything that comes out of the water. He doesn't eat any fish or anything like that. He doesn't eat... I don't think he eats any what? crustaceans. Dude. I don't think he eats eggs. He doesn't eat... Uh, the guy. He doesn't enjoy half of the food that's available to humans. If civilization falls, he's the first one gone, okay? I don't even think he would... I hot doggies! Yeah. <laughs> Hamburgies! No, he won't eat hot dogs because he's like, I know what they're made out of. What, did, like pig knuckles and bottles and wear whips? underwear and he won't eat a hot dog. I'm just trying to <laughs> Dude, get okay, yeah, that, that. Zach, if I know Zach's listening to this. That is an insane I didn't even put that together. You don't wear underwear, but you don't eat hot dogs. Like I feel like <laughs> come on. Come on, dude. I feel like that is one of the default things you would have to eat if you're a guy that doesn't wear underwear. I feel like dudes that don't wear underwear have to love hot dogs. It's got to be 99.9% yeah. like, of them. Those circles for the Venn diagram are barely off center, and you're the one guy that's in the not wear underwear, don't eat hot dog <laughs> category. You're the one dude. It's just a weird balance of things to like care about. <laughs> yeah. I, don't I don't like eating big ass, but I'll fucking, I'll shit and not wipe. I, dude, I, I got him on the, uh, on the bird dog grind. Bird dog stretchy pants. Oh, this shit. With the oh. with the liner in them, you know, but I wear mine I with under wait with underwear. He now has them with the liner, and he's just like, "Oh, it's kind of nice. Bullshit. It's like it's almost like underwear." I'm like, "Dude, you shouldn't just be raw dogging those fucking bird dogs. What are you doing?" I mean, that's a good step. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a step in the right like direction. In it. Yeah, he's, How, he's gl- like no offense, Zach. Once again, I mean, like I'm not here to disparage <laughs> no you, offense, but I, I'm I'm here about the logistics of the situation. How does someone of your girth walk around and have their thighs touching all day without? How do you not chafe? Also, what's the chafing Zach, situation? Not to pry or, you know, sound rude or anything, but you must be a grower too, then, right? Because if you didn't have underwear on, I mean, what are you just slinging crazy bulge all the time or just curious, Sam, huh? Does he, what is he? You just his meat swinging around all the time yeah, or you just got in. I mean, you're probably looking for it. I'm just curious. No, yeah, you just got it in his pants, just in his pants where his penis is. That's just like, so <laughs> oh, this is, my, the idea of my dick rubbing against denim. is like, it's not just against denim awful, against the zipper. Yeah, oh. right there, that zipper. Um, yeah, who knows? I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time looking at my brother's cock, but I'm gonna I'm gonna refocus what I look at. I'll get back to you next time. Look straight down. <laughs> yeah. my eyes are up here. I, I, when I say I hate, it sounds a little strong. I don't hate pick eaters, but in a way they disgust me because. Yep. But I, you know, I get some people like some people are like. This is all I got, man. I got. I had to eat chicken tenders forever, and then I. It's like my comfort. Like it keeps me safe or whatever. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that doesn't mean you need eating, to have it every eating, meal. <laughs> eating delicious new things is like one of the five pleasures of life, yeah. and it's something I'm like obsessed with. I love not, you know just going surprise me, and sometimes it totally backfires. And I go wow, yeah. it's now something I don't like, but at least I tried. I've been I've been I doing tried. that at restaurants recently because I just got I just keep getting like bored of having the same stuff. And mm. I went to a sushi place and I was just like, I want to get this like fleet of the guy, the sushi guy. It's his choice. It's it was like three rolls, his choice. And I didn't like a single one. <laughs> they were all equally bad. And uh, but I walked away going, yeah. you know what? Now I know. Now I fucking yeah. know. Fortune favors the bold. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but I wish I had known what he gave me so I'd know to stay away from it in the future. Yeah. I was just what like, What was this? It was good. <laughs> yeah. Give me exactly it was so what good. I, I want to. Re- <laughs> what were the ingredients in that? Just so I can yeah. stay close to them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> One was, I, I'm pretty sure he went to Costco and got fucking like raw tilapia fillets. 
And it was just like the shittiest goddamn fish I've ever had. I was like, dude, this is the fishiest fish I've ever had in my life. It was horrific. Yeah, just going to Costco and that remind me, we went out to eat while all those guys were here for like the bachelor party thing. We went to a restaurant I've been to one time, but they have like really good Southern food and stuff. And all the sides are like corn, like big ass cornbread oh. with some maple on it, oh, like fixes. biscuits. Yeah. Grits with all sorts of shit in it. Like it's just so good. And my friend was like, kept talking about like, I'm so excited to try their homemade lemonade. Like, gotta try that homemade lemonade. And the waiter like four times was like, hey man, we don't have homemade lemonade. Like he told him once and my friend's like, okay, I'll just take water. And then like, I don't know why, but he brought it up again. Like later it was like, ah, sorry. Like we don't have that lemonade. I wasn't trying to order it. Like, third time later is like, so sorry about not having that lemonade. Blah, blah. My friend's like, it's fucking fine. <laughs> And then like I thought your friend later, kept bringing it up, going no, like, yeah. hey, "What about now? Oh, you guys done it? No." And then like twenty minutes later, the guy just brought him a lemonade. It was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I guess we did have lemonade." It was like, like clearly like powder lemonade yeah. mixed into the thing. Mio, mio, this, mio guy, and water. Like, this guy just like fucking run to the store really quick. But he was the one. Like my friend wasn't even mad about it. He was like, "Okay, no lemonade. Sure, I'll take water." And the guy kept saying, like, no lemonade. It was so funny when he came back and was like, well, I guess we did have some lemonade. Here you go. And he's like, I don't even really want lemonade anymore, but thank, thanks, I guess. Like, uh, it's good. It was just, like, tastes like <laughs> Kool-Aid, like yellow Kool-Aid or something. It was just funny, the emphasis he put on it, just to, like, what are you, like, tricking us? <laughs> like, are you, like, trying to lower his expectations? So he's really happy when he gets this lemonade or something. Uh, I don't know. Just, just funny to me. Not really that funny, but the worst too. And you go, hey, what, what do you like here? And the waiter says like the worst thing on the menu. And then it's like <clears throat> such a pressure to like, Ugh, I am. A, I just came off like a guy that would take their word. Yeah. And now you're like, what? What? How do you feel about their specials? Face. What do you mean? Like when a waiter goes like, hey, here's oh, like, what are the specials are. of today? I will never order those ever because I just assume the specials are all the shit that's going bad. And they're like, I such a weird mindset. I, to have no, what are you talking about? They get, they get a, a fucking uh, thousand pieces of mackerel and they're like, oh shit, they're not selling. Oh, the special today is mackerel because this shit's about to turn. I don't want old ass mackerel. We don't have you know? fish specials a lot here. I bet you do everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're just like, oh, the specials, the grouper. The black There's and no groupers the special. Specialism. Every fucking restaurant, the black and groupers the special. Quiche. I'm like, because that fish is going bad quick. Uh, I love that fish too. I don't, mm. I don't, I don't fuck with specials. If someone says uh, when they tell okay, me the dude, specials, that. I go, <laughs> that's what I'm not ordering. Whatever you're I'm saying, I'm not I don't fuck with specials, <laughs> and I don't think deaf people should have a job. Yeah, guys, okay, I'm not, dude. I'm not ableist. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> I'm not See able. To... Three more times. I don't like specials. Okay? Yeah, I don't that is them. a thing. Yeah. Trust me, man. You can trust. Me. I'm not that thing. Uh, yeah, I, it's like, yeah. What do you recommend? Oh, I like the fucking fart sandwich. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. I mean, I, fucking... I really was like kind of eyeing the hot dog, but now, <laughs> now I guess I gotta take your word for it. That's a bit from they came together. That your favorite movie, yeah. where she's like, I'm just feeling adventurous. Surprised me, and he's like, "Wow, you don't even have to look at the menu. It's like a steak for the Mister and the doo doo fart fish for the Misses. <laughs> such a dumb joke, but <laughs> cracks me up every time." Thinking today, we really got to try to pull. Well, actually, wait, this is not what I said today. At all. This is the opposite of what I said. Like I have my stream asked me like dream guests. I'm like, I don't really have any. You know, like a lot of people, it's. Like a lot of people I really would want on here. I'm like, what if it went poorly? Yeah. And then, then, and then they hate me. Yeah. Or like you, you act like yourself and they're like, that guy's really mean to me. <laughs> act like myself, dude. Like, I am not mean I'm to joking. people. I what know. are you talking about? A lot of people about? ask me today. They're like, is Sam actually like a good guy in person? I'm like, he actually is like, a, he's like a pretty cool dude. <laughs> Like a pretty nice dude, but everyone's just like, do is I, he like a monster? Do I, yeah, do, do I give off monster energy? 
I couldn't go to field trips because I was so evil as a child. The My grades time. were bad. I can't read good, okay? They said this kid's too stupid to go to DC. He's You're not going to understand problem, child. it. All right. No, like I was. Uh, I got. Dollar in, candy. I got into a fight. That's why I couldn't go to DC. Oh. Okay, I was a behavioral issue, but the teachers loved me. All right, my fellow students oh. feared me, but the teachers loved me. Okay. Yeah. So I bet they all were scared <laughs> of shit. That you're gonna fucking eat their lunch. <laughs> Fart near them. Yeah, they really. really Oh shit! Here comes Mongo. <laughs> Screw all that. Mongo's <laughs> Fuck all that other shit. Mongo's coming. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. that's rich. Um, but my dream guest would be David David Wayne, the director uh, of They Came Together and Wet Hot American Summer. And yeah, mine would be David Attenborough. How cool would uh, that be? Fuck that old bitch. Are you kidding hey, David me? David Attenborough, why don't you tell me what kind of bug this is, <laughs> old fucking bitch? <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? I love no, having I mean, like, like yeah. just he would be, it would yeah. be such a fish out of water, you know. He would just be like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" I don't want to have someone that I'm gonna connect with. I just want to have like a guy that everybody, like Obama, like a yeah. previous president, yeah. would be so funny. Jimmy Carter, if we could have Jimmy Carter as a guest, that would be insane. He would just be like, <laughs> "Am I alive?" There's a high chance his his He's grandson so has come out multiple times and said. He's at the he's at, on death's door. There's a probability that he he's would fucking three steps in that door, dude. He would die on our show. Do you know how much that would catapult us into fame if we that would, had an yeah, ex president could, die on our show? Hey. Blamo, Jimmy Carter here. <laughs> blamo, blamo. I would just I would just be talking and then just ah! I'm trying to scare him and give him a heart attack. I get a little scanner, a little barcode scanner, and just like shoot red lights in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Somebody open up his eyes a little bit more. <laughs> Jimmy, if you die right now, no one will be mad at you. It's your time to go. Yeah. You're, you've lived a good life, old oh boy. Go rest your eyes a little. <laughs> blam, 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 blam. Uh, that would actually be our... That would that could shoot us to hawk to a girl yeah. levels. <laughs> Reality yeah. TV show, very seriously shot. No, it's uh, but my I, I think like my go to guess would be people that I don't necessarily think I'm going to click with in any way, but people that are just insanely passionate interested. about something that we can then talk about. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's it is really cool to just hear someone like because for us, it's like we don't really like anything or do yeah. anything cool. So then you talk to a guy where it's like, yeah, I wake up in the morning and I have meaning yeah it's like, like when windagoon was more. talking about the bible i don't even think i like anything in my life as much as that guy likes that fucking book I, I and like he was stormlight archives <laughs> much, dude. Like, yeah. 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 and he was like and then jesus did this and then he did this yeah. and i was like damn dude he really knows he knows more about that guy than i know about myself you know but more about him than i know about my own father <laughs> yeah. yeah that's well, it's good. There's so many books about him. If my dad had a book, I'd, I'd read it. I'd probably read it. I wouldn't I analyze it as much as nah. people analyze it. The... What did my dad mean here when he said the reason for his divorce was the son he did not want? Do you think Jesus is up in, the, in heaven's going like, oh, fuck. Like, they're pouring over everything I did. Like, <laughs> Dear diary, day number 10. <laughs> I had a twisted thought about my own mother. <laughs> Strike, strike that! Strike. Yeah. He's like born in a manger. It's like his greatest. Like fucking, he's like, dude, I'm so fucking poor. And they like they recreated yeah. every Christmas. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit! Humble beginnings, dude. That, you don't have to yeah. advertise that shit. Every the farm where I was born because we couldn't get to a hospital yeah. in time. Yeah. <laughs> My broke mom couldn't take me to a good regional regional hospital. Interstate was all fucking. <laughs> Yeah, those Mesopotamian uh, interstates. Yeah. Our, our donkeys <laughs> <laughs> broke a leg. Shit. Uh, yeah, that it's, it reminds me of that Onion video with the anteater expert. Yeah. Like, Why would I ever want to see an anteater again? I've devoted my whole life we to... We brought one. Their, you their brought their one? Awful animals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Horrible animals. <laughs> Very boring. You say oh, that, Jesus. but like the, the big ones, like the, the king anteaters or whatever... I love how they have like those big arms. Yeah, yeah. Do you like how I already knew what you were gonna yeah, say. Yeah, the them? arms are so cool. 
Everybody they focuses like another animal. on the nose. Okay, the nose is cool. That's the first thing you see. But next time you look is at it, an anteater, look at the arms. I thought it was their mouth. What, do you think their nose is up here? And then it's... What, do you think their mouth is... <laughs> I, think when, I think when they're down there eating the ants, they're also sniffing them. I think their nostrils are right there at the end. Okay, so it's a nose and a mouth. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's I'm, a, a I'm snout. okay with that. Yeah, you, you look that up, I'm going to pee. Oh, yeah, it is a snout. Yeah, it's all snout. It's all snout? Does that mean nostrils are at the end? Well, yeah, but... And then it got me into an interesting oh. post. Well, their nose is down there like the little thing. Yeah. Is the rest of it, just so one of us could be right, more mouth or more nose? But it's just all a thing. Hmm. A snout. Yeah. Because, you know, they got a two-foot tongue, no teeth. Wait a second. So pretty. Oh, they have no teeth? No. I was about to say, like, they don't have... Like, a possum has a long snout, but then it has, like, you know, it can open, like, a dog's mouth, like this. But anteaters just have, like, a long snout, and then it's just, like, a little hole at the end that a tongue can come out. They couldn't open up their mouth at all, can they? I mean, they, not, like, if you look, it looks almost like a really tiny horse's mouth. Yeah. And I bet it could open up. It's only going to need to open up a couple centimeters to do what, <laughs> you know, if you catch my drift. Yeah. Well, if they have no teeth, I'm, you know what, with how, two, with how gross humans are, I'm sure there's somebody that's been like, I yeah. am mouth fucking that thing. Yeah. It's happening. Maybe my misshaved pubes look like little ants. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this thing will just go fucking hog wild. <laughs> Imagine this is yeah. a stick covered in ants. And I bet a all. disgusting guy out there has thought that and then done it, yeah. which is the difference between the two of us. <laughs> yeah. Massive difference. Yeah. Just such a simple step. Yep. My only difference between the guy that's done that and me right now is the fact that there's no anteaters I on my don't continent. I have an anteater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Said I can't. Yeah. <laughs> That's if I if really I see different. fucking Salvador Dali walking around with a pet anteater, that thing is he's getting beat up and that anteater is getting possibly violated. I you know, I'm not gonna violate it. No, that's that's too forceful. I'm definitely gonna draw little ants on my penis though with a marker and see if it Ooh, an ants on a log. <laughs> I got some raisins and a yeah. little bit of peanut butter down there. <laughs> Yeah, that's grotesque, actually. <laughs> but this, guys, this is the Premier 18 Plus yeah. podcast, so we can get a little yeah. raunchy in here. Well, I don't want to get too raunchy, because that, uh, that sketch guy, he got, he's, like, getting almost ruined over just being gay, all right? <laughs> if you can get ruined yeah. over being gay, then we can definitely get ruined over having anteaters suck our cocks. So, <sighs> not going to happen, guys. We're not going to do it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't realize he is, the bar was, like, what? I didn't realize it was there. Like, just being gay can get you... Yeah, and you and you've been telling everyone on the podcast that I'm banging my roommate for two months. You're trying to I you're didn't trying to say ruin you were my banging life. Your roommate. Oh, Freudian slip. Yeah, you said I was. I you said you're not beating you the definitely, allegations. Definitely. No, you've in my own home. You said a lot more than that. <laughs> you said buckets more than that. <laughs> you said things I've never even heard, <laughs> dude. You described ways that I would be with him I hadn't even dreamt of. They haven't even written it in books. The ways you talked about this. Dude, I only talked about it because I just wanted it for myself. Happy's a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy. I, I, you, why don't you marry him? <laughs> you were like, all right, Sam, time to get in the car and go back to the airport. I was like, do I have to? Do I have to? He may will, you, will you write, <laughs> Happy? <laughs> will you stand correspondent? Yeah. Yeah, he talks about you all every goddamn day. It's driving me crazy. He's putting a wedge in our roommate shift. I didn't like that. I knew as soon as I left, you were going to have other guests. Because I'm like, oh, there's no time yeah. for him to, to have a lasting impression on him. You know? Oh, yeah. You know, as soon as I left, somebody else came in. I was like, does he even remember me? Or am I just a blur halfway and through? And the next guy walked in the front door with 10 packs of beer and a big speaker. And, went, <laughs> and he was like, who was that other guy? I forgot him already. <laughs> Who wants to get blacked out and forget the last two days entirely? You want to take yeah. this pill that makes you forget? <laughs> forget two days. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that reminds oh. him of me is that 
your chips are gone and his brother's cereal's gone because I ate all that shit. <laughs> Why do I feel like there was someone here eating all my shit? <laughs> Yeah, he just he woke up to a Goldilocks scenario. <laughs> Somebody's been eating my porridge. What the hell? Uh, no, I had a great time with you. Uh, Me too. Yeah. I had a great time with you coming up here. Yeah, no, it's that was a blast. Sp- it was a little... Honestly, I feel like... When was that? Like two months ago? <laughs> months ago? No, it was fucking like not even... It was like a month ago. Maybe oh, a month ago. Was that the first episode of last yeah. month? It was literally. Jeez, it was. It was. Jesus it Christ! It was thirty-four days Dude, ago. It, it's. It's been a blur. I genuinely feel like since that day, I have not like had any longer than like two days of this house to myself, yeah. and it's been it's been a little overwhelming. Like there's just been constant shit going on, and people coming up or people coming down, and. Suit. The day I got back from Virginia, I was like, "All right, let's go. We have to go get." suits from this place and like now five people are staying in your house for four days they all left like yesterday and it's just been where the fuck did five people sleep in there on the floor your cots okay it was only four i was being a little hyperbolic but two in that bed two on different couches Mm. two extra dogs though which feels like five more people Yeah. yeah um it's just yeah it's been a What's your what's your oh, opinion on people that bring their dogs with them to go into to places? Well, I guess you just had that, but I mean, I'm sure that was a necessary thing. Yeah, let me try. Let me try this. Make this not sound weighted against my friend that will listen to this. Yeah. I think they're the dirtiest. <laughs> sense. Well, first off, I'm sure it was a necessary thing, but I we it, have a family member was, that every time they roll up, they bring their um, dog, and I'm like, come on, dude. We yeah, I don't, I don't love it, especially if it like ham like. I feel like hamstrings what you're gonna do yeah like if you know having a dog is gonna make it harder but most of, like yeah, also it's just like a good dog i don't give a shit yeah and the reason this was i actually really want them to bring their dogs is because one of them is mo oh yeah mo that old yeah. that, the little chihuahua yeah. and every time i see him it's like i don't know he's just the light of my life you know it's you never forget your first Does son Pip know that there's this bond between you and mo he could definitely feel it. Yeah. And there was a couple nights, of course, I took like 50 pictures, but they were snuggling together in my bed. And it was like oh. <laughs> it's the sweetest little thing I've ever seen. And it was just really, I was like, I wish they could be together forever. Yeah. But then he took a. <laughs> my mother in law brings Carolina. over her. She's got like an Australian shepherd. And for oh. some reason, this dog and me have like a soul bond. No. That for some reason Gwen, just it surpasses what me and Gwen have, and like because th- this dog is like energetic, but she just like has those like piercing blue eyes and just locks eyes with me. Smart dog, and then like yeah, like hops up and just looks me in the eye. And I've always heard, oh, that's an act of aggression. I'm like, this dog wants to make out with me. Okay, this dog, this dog is different. This is not aggression. It's this not, is just oh, saluting. Yeah. Just no, I pick. I do. Have you ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen someone pick up like a, a, a fucking sheep or something and you just kind of grab them and their legs you don't let their legs drape uh, over your arms you just kind of grab yeah, yeah. I, I will pick up that dog like that and that dog will fucking just love it it'll just be sitting there snuggling oh, up against me it's like a 45 pound dog that dog rocks okay yeah, I love that, that dog is, and uh, but the other one that gets brought over here fucking sucks dog barks all the time I didn't want to say anything. They do bring another dog yeah. that everyone's like, Mo! And then the other dog comes in and, oh, shadow. <laughs> yeah. They're trying He's to knock like, vases on top of its yeah. head and take it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I slipped. <clears throat> no, it's a, it's a fine dog. Yeah. It's just, so, it's just it's not such a Mo. nervous wreck. You know? It's not Mo. one, <laughs> two. It's actually quite annoying. <laughs> so it's it just gets anytime they leave because when they come here they have to go visit a lot of other people and we watch the dogs. Yeah, and it barks like a muppet. Like it's like, bow, bow, bow. <laughs> like I can't replicate it. It's like, hey, what's going? On? <laughs> I don't know. How it to barks do like it. a muppet and you do like a a fucking air guitar sound. <laughs> like meow, meow. Meow. that rocks. Yeah, you know muppet. I don't watch muppets, but it's not. It, it doesn't sound real when it barks. <laughs> It sounds like a puppet. And I'm it, about to make a reference it, to something that I don't even know. 
It sounds like a mop. <laughs> what does that it's, sound like? <laughs> it's just like classic <laughs> puppet, you know, with a hint of that veggie tales. Said, if I can that being say, that said, like Pip's barks are so. Oh yeah, those things are so I mean, inhuman. The, the first one well, of is course so they're so scary, yeah, they're <laughs> so shrill. Yeah. Well, you saw Rosie the bulldog with. A, Really weird noises. Yeah, my mom's dog. Yeah. That's like sounds I like mean, I can't. predator. Yeah, like the alien predator. It like clicks and does yeah. like weird like like weird little noises. Very. That's actually a pretty good impression. It does almost like gargle or something. Yeah. But yeah, shadows like everyone's like, oh, man. It's just <laughs> such a nervous wreck. Oh, and awesome. everyone that li- still lives around here, Mo is like like a. He's almost like a religious figure to us. And he might cash who you met. The first time I think he did acid, him and Mo just stared at each other on the couch for like 40 minutes. And afterwards, he's like, dude, like I was talking to that dog. Like, <laughs> I had like a real moment with that dog. And we're like soul bonded. <laughs> What's then, funny like, all is my other- Mo's side of that was probably complete trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Is this guy going to fuck me or kill me? Holy shit. This guy's like eight times larger than yeah. me just staring me down. <laughs> I'm sure he loved it. He's a little angel. I mean, he's like mean to people too, which is funny because it's one of those dogs where you earn his trust. Yeah. And then once you have it, you're like, this is special. <laughs> I saw a Snapchat member the other day. Because, you know, the dog, the bag video. And so like, we'd always joke about like, oh, Mo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick you right out the window. I'm going to throw you into the sun. And then... My one friend that would make those jokes all the time. I had a Snapchat memory where I crept down the stairs and took a picture of him. And he's sitting Mo off on his side and reading him a children's book. And I'm like, this is more than he's ever done for another person. <laughs> like, this is the sweetest thing he'll ever do. Yeah. And it's just people do that shit for Mo. I do feel a little bad for Pip when he's here. Because <laughs> Pip like, doesn't get that love. Like, get away from me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Pip's okay. Shadows. Eh. Mo, oh my god, he's just and he's so old now. He's so he looks like a little gingerbread cookie or something. Got a little white face. Yeah, I'm getting so scared. Cute. My dog Gwen's getting a fucking white face, dude. She's only How seven. Old? Yeah, it's and her her eyebrows have turned white. Her fucking snouts turning white. I'm not ready for Probably that. All the shit. stress you put her through. I don't put her. I just jump scare her like every day. It's not a lot of stress. You know those uh those little grabber things that kids have, where it's like uh, their hands. Yeah, <laughs> no, those little clackers. Oh! Like old people use them to pick up shit, but they have like the kid yeah, version. I, yeah, yeah, little robot. Yeah, hand. little robot hands. Yeah, Gwen doesn't like those, but man, I love fucking clacking them and chasing around mm. them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pip hates when I give him raspberries. But <laughs> God, do I do it <laughs> anytime I see that belly? <laughs> love giving him a little raspberry. Yeah. Oh damn, I actually. <laughs> I didn't know he was right there. He's just staring at me a little creepy. I kicked him on accident. <laughs> really, really gingerly, though. Um, huh. Yeah, it's... I, I don't want to think about dogs getting old, either. Yeah, uh, it's Our sad. dog at home that you kind of saw, he's... My mom just told me on the phone today, we're going to have to have a talk about Romeo. <laughs> oh, are yeah. You like, for, yeah. Like, what are you, you like, telling me, about me to, Rosie, like, start... And I'm sitting there looking at yeah. Rosie, which is crazy ass bulldog yeah and then you were like oh the other dog i didn't even see it and then like i saw it on the way out this dog is like <laughs> basically hooked up to an IV, <laughs> just laying dude. in a bed <laughs> that dog, yeah that dog's old as fuck dude can that dog even walk it was just yeah. old as shit just, it's not great yeah, walker not great. Not great. well he's he's 15 and he's a lab mix and mm. He was like 120 pounds or so. Like, he was a big ass dog. Yeah. Which normally don't live, you know, as long. And he's lived a really long time. But it's, my mom told me that. I'm like, well, can, like, can we have the talk now? And she's like, no. I'm like, okay. So I just go, what? just like, wait, wait on it. Yeah. She's like, you got to come down so we can talk about the dog we're going to have to put down. I'm like, ah. Yeah. That's, that's a horrible trade off because you have small dogs that are dumb as shit. And skittish and weird. And they live a long time. Uh. Or you have big dogs, which are awesome and soulful. 
But they live such a best short dog ever. They live such a short life. Well, he's managed to somehow. Yeah. He's made a deal or something. Yeah. The devil. But yeah, he's a good ass dog. Yeah. Rest rest in future peace. I, I think I was spoiled by my first dog because uh, my childhood dog Bert lived to be like twenty something. <laughs> oh, and then, that sounds like a muppet. And then after after he died, which wasn't even like on his own, he was just having a hard time walking. And it wasn't on his own. I helped. <laughs> my mom. My mom helped. Uh, my mom fucking uh, like dosed him up with a bunch of pills because uh, he was like, he was just like vet pills or like here. What happens if I give this dog like fifteen Adderall? Yeah, she like gave him a bunch of like quaaludes or something to try to take him out, and it didn't. It didn't go well because she just didn't want to go to the vet and have him put down. So she tried to do hold. it like. Well, she was like, we could do it peacefully at home. So she's given like a, a cocktail medley of like her own pills. And like, the only reason I'm telling this is because she's like dead. So like out. everybody yeah. involved is dead now. Dog's yeah. dead. My mom's dead. My mom fucking poisoned my dog growing up. I don't even, he probably could have lived a little bit longer. But, uh, he was, well, he's seven years old. <laughs> no, he was like 20 something after he died. Oh, like, what? 20 yeah, something? No, he was 20 something. And then after, after he died, I, like I looked up, like how long do dogs live? Like the world record is like twenty five for like oldest yeah. dog. I was like, dude, that dog was at least twenty. If you had hooked him up to some machinery, you could have hit that record. I yeah, he was he was in like he it's didn't so have kicking. official paperwork on when he was born, but when we got him, he was the vet said he was at least three years old, and then he lived like seventeen years after that. So he was he was at twenty, you know. Yeah. You think if you went to the Guinness Book of World Records and were like, "Look, my dog's still alive, but it's like in an iron lung, <laughs> yeah. and like ev- like machines everywhere keeping it going, pumping its like, blood." His, mo- <laughs> his mortal shell is not so strong, <laughs> but his soul and heart are very much still pumping blood. He's forty eight years old. Can I? <laughs> Can you put this in a book for children? Can you? Can you take a picture of this and put it in a library? Yeah, if you like. That's a good question. If you have a if you if you just have a dog like hooked up to dialysis in like a constant CPR machine feeding tube, just basically like the ICU but for a dog. Yeah. Cuz just do to get a world record. <laughs> world record. <laughs> you get a picture and you get a like an autograph yeah. from the guy that writes the book or something. You know, I did hear that they came out with a pill that you can give cats. And it, it it it's just like kind of a catch all. It just like oh. is it for like their like feline? It extends um, their longevity, like their livers or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little bit of everything. It's like all the ailments re- that most cats have. Like normally, it just yeah. extends their life by like twenty to thirty percent or something, which is awesome. But it's you know like I'm not a cat guy, so like if they made that for dogs, that would be cool. Or if you gave that pill to a dog, what would happen? <laughs> yeah. Would it grow hair on its tongue? Yeah. <laughs> or would it just die? <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> mm. You should follow in your mother's footsteps of experimenting yeah. on old dogs. Well, I, I realize that now that I've gotten older and I have my own dog, I didn't realize that people took care of dogs as much as they do. Cause like my dogs growing up, we're always like the dog we had, Bert, we, we just, my mom was like, we should get a dog. So we just went down to the pound and we were like that one. <laughs> my brother just yeah. pointed at Bert because, uh, there was one dog that was like yapping up against the door. And then Bert was just in the back sitting there quietly. And really what it was is the Mo. little dog up against the door was, I think, terrified of Bert. Cause he was kind of like a, he was like a psycho dog. And, uh, bit a lot of people Hello, growing up <laughs> yeah, he was kind of like an aggressive issue my dad Hello, Zach. once we got Pick me <laughs> once we got Bert back to the <laughs> house forever. my dad couldn't go to his bedroom like he would oh. go to go down the hall and Bert was like uh-uh <laughs> like you're not you are not welcome in your own fucking house anymore my dad's like what the fuck when my dad introduced my uncle to our dog, he said, hey, you want to meet my new dog? And he gave him a welding glove to pet my dog because <laughs> Bert bit so many people. But uh, that was like my dog growing up and like he got sick or whatever. And my mom was like, here, take some fucking crazy pills that I have and hopefully it'll knock you out and kill you. Like we never really took care of him like in a good way. And no. then 
and then I got Gwen, long. and uh, you know, Gwen's Gwen's Gwen, and now I like love Gwen more than anything. Like I got Gwen as a gift for Abby, and I'd always thought like it's a dog. When it gets sick, you just go like take it to the pound, but I'm not giving it <laughs> surgery or anything. You know, it's just a fucking dog. And now, like, I feel like if Gwen got like any sort, like, I would, I would pay for like human level surgery for Gwen. Like, Gwen is like, you should really get pet insurance. So you <laughs> no, don't. No, that's to the thing pay. is that someone was like, do you? Ha-? I think it was you. You're like, do you have pet insurance? Yeah. I was like, there's health insurance for dogs. <laughs> like, I I grew up in a household where like your dog got sick, yeah. you just feed it some crazy pills and hope it dies or whatever and dig a hole. That's, I didn't know I that people took care of them. And now, like, yeah, if if Gwen died or like got like a anything wrong with her yeah i would i would absolutely spend money on the surgery I feel, pip might be my best friend you know it's, yeah don't want to think about all that but well, uh, you brought up yeah, head but, insurance and then i was like i was sitting there laying in bed and the way i sleep is it's me and there's abby on the other side of the bed and then gwen sleeps like a human being on her back <laughs> like in between us like I'm like, I'm gonna oh my, her regular insurance. <laughs> yeah, you know? It's like, dude, this dog is 100 percent like part of this family. I need to get, yeah, I need to add her to my goddamn health insurance plan or something. I didn't realize health like pet insurance you was get a thing. separate pet. It's pet insurance. Yeah, it's, it's no, not, I'm gonna add her. To, I'm, I'm getting her dental. I'm getting her the whole fucking nine. Dude. She's my daughter. Damn it! I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> I'm adding her to my Except, will. Okay, she's yeah. a, she's a split between her and my daughters. Uh, yeah, girls, don't be angry, but you do have to sh- you have to split your inheritance, yeah. Gwen or any of her heirs, yeah. Yeah. any of her spawn. You must and boy, protect. Boy, she is a whore. <laughs> she is in heat. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. No, my I don't think my parents. We had like one vet that would come over every once in a while and be like, ah, "Dog, look." I'll give him a shot of something, you know, and just and then he'd take care of the horses. And so he was like a all around, just like, I don't think this guy, you know, was a pro, yeah. but he had a little bag and just be like, oh, that dog's still kicking. Well, the way, my, yeah, they, they never did. They never went above and beyond like vet or anything. And they probably never would have. But my mom, last time I saw that dog, I mean, it's heartbreaking, but he does. He looks like a skeleton of a dog. Yeah. And she's like, man, his nose is still wet. Like, he's still like, he's health. Like, he's got more time, and his nose is wet. And that's like how she judges <laughs> a dog's health. Like, is the nose wet? No. Okay, that dog's dead. <laughs> so, so what? Gwen gives me dry nose kisses all the time. Oh, you might want to go <laughs> get that checked out. <laughs> oh, dog's happy as can be, tail wagging. Oh, nose is a little bit dry. Fuck. I'm just I'll start saying, digging the know. grave. I've never seen. I've never seen a dog with a dry nose go to heaven. That's all I'm <laughs> a, a wet nose is such a weird indicator for health. I know. Especially yeah. when the rest yeah. of the dog is, no offense, a bag of bones. Well, he's 15, yeah. It's like, I, they take him, like him, that is like this special that dog. That dog is like, like if Jimmy Carter was a dog. <laughs> yeah. 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 What if yeah. what if Jimmy Carter's grandson was like his nose is still wet. <laughs> he's, he's still kicking. Jimmy Carter, like, what do you want to do? Put Jimmy Carter down? <laughs> That's Mr. President Carter. Yeah, we got to president you. insurance, dude. Uh, <laughs> he can't die. <laughs> yeah. He's he's the president. That would be great is if that... he outlives Trump and Biden. If they both die of oh. old age, <laughs> and Jimmy <laughs> Carter's still alive, <laughs> that would fucking rock. Yeah, Dad, you did it. Y'all live. The- Where? Are you? Uh, can, I- can I die yet, please? Uh, yeah, my my dad my dad was a classic. Like, I don't want a dog. I'm not gonna. I don't want to do all this dog stuff. Yeah. And their dog, Jones. Well, I think his name's like technically in Indiana Jones or so. I don't know. He's got a weird full name, but they just call him Jones. It's like that perfect golden retriever, like just fat little golden retriever. Oh, is that the dog I met in, in Blundstown? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that dog, every person when we just went to Virginia, we didn't get a single family photo besides the cave people that we didn't buy. Like we didn't buy the photo. Every person had like 15 pictures of Jones in different scenarios because he would just like get in the river and let the current like 
carry he would just float and then like stand up at a point and walk back and then like float down and like swim around and he is genuinely like their favorite kid <laughs> like like they've gone a step above where like i'm like pretty convinced they love him <laughs> Quite possibly more than me or my siblings, which well, like, Jones I get is around. It. Like, yeah, yeah, he's around, he's around and he's like really good, yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't talk back. Yeah, I've I've but, uh, for a dog, I've never seen a dog's back that wide. <laughs> Jones is back. Okay, what well, I got the oldest, skinniest dog ever. I got the fattest dog. You no, know, he's fuck not, you and he's your stupid fat. little dog. His back too, is okay? like a, it's like a table. He's big back. Yeah, he's okay? big back. No, Jones rocks. No, that's what I like about dogs versus bit. humans is that dogs come in more shapes and sizes. Humans are pretty. Yeah. People go like, oh, there's hot humans and ugly humans. Yeah, kind of relatively. If I was another animal, I'd look at humans and go, they mostly all kind of look alike. But dogs, we have bred them into crazy cartoon figures. There's some that are crazy looking. And there's so- some that are... Stinky, stinky. Some, are, there there are some, some stinky dogs that are dogs. stupid. Yeah. There's funny <laughs> dogs. There's Dude, I, I can't look noises. at a greyhound, like a purebred greyhound, without laughing. They are just, we have fully contorted them into like the weirdest looking dog that's ever been made. What a goddamn, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Humans <laughs> fucking. Eugenics we works, okay? Yeah. We conquered a creature, <laughs> and an we, entire creature. We took this Bent creature to our that will. naturally looked like a wolf, and we turned it into Rosie, that bulldog that makes yeah. predator noises. It, we have completely conquered this species. It makes me wish we had done that to, like, tigers and stuff, too. Like, let's <laughs> yeah. see how far we yeah. can go. Yeah. The most we do with tigers is what? Make tigons and ligers. That's yeah, lame. Yeah. You know, we can do more. And than breed that. the fuck out of them until they get like a albino one or something. Have some you seen the inbred tiger. horses that have been like popping up on on Twitter? No. Yeah, apparently, if you take Arabian horses and and just inbreed the fuck out of them, you can make them look like ridiculous cartoon characters where their eyes are bugging out and their noses instead of like being a horse nose. You know, it, they actually like it's like concave. They look like freaks. Oh. They look like freaks, and it's like Sad. it's something they aspire to. Where they're like, we need to oh. inbreed these Arabian horses, huh? Dude, if we went as far as we went with dogs, with like, I bet you could make an elephant into a horse eventually. Yeah, I don't know what that means. As soon as I said it, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about. You can get a horse shaped elephant. You could ride on it. Yeah, and it would not be fast, but oh, it would... imagine the breeding possibilities with a rhino. You know, you, you could oh do something God. crazy with a rhino. He could turn it into an ant eater. <laughs> God damn it. He could turn it into an time. ant. Oh, could, that is an ugly yeah, ass horse. No, Jesus Christ. This is the ugliest fucking Looks thing. like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't even look like a horse. Also, I feel like it wouldn't be able to bite you that hard, yeah. which is maybe good. No, but... look at his little delicate lips. <laughs> Dude, I want to punch that horse square yeah. in the fucking forehead. Just, yeah, Holy they took shit. horses and they go, all right, I want a horse, but minus the majesty, and I want it to have a punchable face. I wanted to look yeah. like a fucking dork. A dork horse. Dude, horses are really cool, but also so fucking scary. Yeah. It's like real real horses, just how... How big? Like, skittish yeah. they are and how strong. They're skittish, strong, but and I, they're stupid. It's a dangerous do, combination. Yeah, they are kind of stupid, but I do kind of like want a horse of it. Like, as you know, I've always had miniature horses. One day I like... It'd be kind of cool to get like a like a real horse. Maybe ride it. Nah, I I got bit by a horse when I was a kid, and I'm fucking scared of them. That's why you're like, Sam, come, come check out these little miniature horses. You, you were like, fucking terrified fuck of those horses. I'm not, two I'm feet not, tall. I'm not fucking with those horses, dude. Those horses were like four inches tall, dude. Yeah. And well, just, you know, you know what? They still got teeth. Okay. I was trying to find. There's some. Look horse at that video. Which, I just oh, wait, it. X more pony. These ones are so cool looking. I will in just a second. Is it a horse like ripping a man in half or something? No, it's not. Oh, well, let me guess. It's a guy banging a horse. <laughs> you always send me these most grotesque videos this, ever. Wait, what? what? Oh, I'm trying to find I a cute picture of this type those. of funny. <laughs> I stopped. Because <laughs> I see this. It is kind of grotesque in a way. Oh, yeah, that's a cool looking oh. horse. <laughs> yeah, the one I sent you is not cool. Yeah, it really, it really is like cartoony, like sad. To just uh, yeah. the comments. 
bred to have dish face. <laughs> they want. Wait, they train them to act all fired up. I I don't know. I heard the the explanation was like there's another another horse in there that's in heat, and that the, he's just horny and he's inbred. Dangerous combination. I've always heard dangerous combination. Does look like old timey paintings of horses. This guy's spot on. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I do I trust guy on Reddit, but he's saying that they're not trained for riding. They're trained to show the Arabians' natural, classic hot temperament. So they're bred to be like all fired up, and there's a type of show where they just kind of get the crowd fired up. Look at this, spot. yeah, look at this thing. Yeah, yeah, we got this horse fucking absolutely stimming out. <laughs> Come take yeah. this fucking thing. Guys, look how crazy we can get this horse stacked. <laughs> Somebody get in there with that thing. Yeah, yeah we bred the most pissed off, ugly horse you've ever seen. What, what an awesome... <laughs> we, we created a monster! Isn't there like a, a thousand cautionary tales about doing this? The hell's wrong with them? Dude, if I... I, I want to do that. I want to make anything but a horse, though. I want to get into specialized breeding where I'm just... Trying to turn something normal into a monster. And then uh, my last final thing is after I breed them into monsters, I'll put little thunder, like little bolts onto their neck as if I created them like Frankenstein. Uh, let's see how far a toad can go, huh? I made a toad that resembles a frog. Frankenstein bolts fucking pound them into its neck. I made a frog that will genuinely attack you. <laughs> this thing will go fucking crazy. <laughs> Breed an anteater to have a regular mouth. <laughs> Holy shit. His nose is up there by its eyes. Oh. Have, you, have you ever seen a, um, like a kid get so scared they have like a delayed response where they're trying to like muster. Yeah, they're trying to like yeah. scream and shit. I've been that scared recently. <laughs> yeah. Kid. Yeah. Olivia got a, um, she got a fucking tree frog that just jumped on her arm and it was just hanging out there. And Madeline goes like, oh, you got like a little frog on your arm. Where did you get that from? And Olivia didn't know it was there. She looked down and this frog is just, you know, tree frogs are. They just fucking yeah. they just hang on. They're just chilling. She sees it and like starts doing a sonic run in place. Like she's charging it up and everything. And uh, the scream took, it, her mouth was open, her face was red, and it took like three seconds for the scream to leave her mouth. I so imagine you would bred a battle frog. <laughs> yeah. Battle toads. Imagine if that frog had talons, like my future frog does. What, you know the thing about us, though, in science? Like, mm. what would we do? Just inbreed them? <laughs> Just help eventually? Like, we wouldn't know. Be like, okay, I'm going to select, like, <laughs> this rat is a little more angry than that one. Let's make it bang its sister. Yeah, that's true. And then you would, yeah. what, like, after 20 years, maybe have a rat that's, like, really crazy. Are you kidding me? Have you seen how quick rats can multiply? Well, that's what I'm saying, though. You go through tons of generate. Like, yeah. you would get, like, I'm talking about a rat that almost, like, maybe it's uh, got, like, extra teeth. <laughs> There is what's the craziest thing you think you could breed into a mouse? Um into a mouse? Or a rat. Wait, you're talking about with my expertise? A squirrel. Yeah, with your with expertise. My, with my expertise, a squirrel. Okay. I could I could Ah well I could I could, I could be like this one has like less squirrel. hair on its tail. I'm gonna breed it with this one that has less yeah. hair on its tail until I get a just a squirrel with no hair on its tail and it's a rat. I was gonna say and wait, you're trying to make a squirrel into a rat. Yeah. What are you? I was saying, what can you make out of a rat? Oh, out of a rat? And I thought you might have make a squirrel. A squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then you're going to want to breed. Then the I'd be hair. like, this one's got some hair on its tail. I'll breed it with that yeah. one with some hair on its tail. Okay. Yeah. That's probably the most I could do with it. Um, maybe with a rat. Let's see. I could probably turn it into a mouse if I just pick some small rats. I'm not talking about turn it. <laughs> could you could you like give it, you know, some like super aggression or something? Uh, I know a rat that like wants to tunnel up your toilet and go into the body of my enemy. There's a book that my I think my brother used to have when he when he first moved out in his bathroom and it was a I think in the book like that's that's the entire point of the book is that it's you're it's one you're supposed to have on the back of your toilet 
and it's about aliens that tunnel up through your asshole oh. while you're sitting on the toilet. And it's such a great little bathroom read. That is a good read. Yeah. I think it might be Dreamcatcher from Stephen King. Is in that oh. there's a guy that sits on the toilet and like one what? of those slugs. So go it's like up a his real ass. book. Yeah. How the hell is anyone shitting long enough to read <laughs> old book to get to that point? I thought you meant it was like a picture book. That was like this alien is gonna come up your ass like no, this frog like will go up your ass. ass. Novel. And the whole yeah, who, who the <laughs> fuck is sitting down? And, oh, Stephen King. Don't mind if I do. You read it in uh-huh. sections, you psycho. You sit down and yeah, you go guess, <laughs> or just it's not sit, for like, guess. Who? It's for you. It's for the guy that owns the toilet. I th- I thought the whole idea was if like I'm a guest shitting, would be like, no, dude, you don't read. Oh, a cool book. You don't read while like, you're shitting at a guest house. Are you kidding me? If there's a book there, I, well, that's a, you know what you I do at your f- place. I turn I turned on the shower. I turned on the vent fan with the fucking pair of pliers vent, that you yeah, have. Just there. the vent would be necessary. <laughs> Well, I didn't want I didn't want you to hear me dropping logs in there. Uh, and you, <laughs> oh, come on, come on! One more, one more. Uh, yeah. Uh, or actually, yes, right I before I came down here, I was putting the kids down to bed, and I, as I was putting Olivia down, I heard Madeline grunting really hard. She's like, oh, oh. and I'm like, "What are you doing in there?" She's like, "I'm farting." <laughs> Holy fuck! Dude. It's like a full body exercise. <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, not pooping. Yeah. Uh. Just farting in my bed. Just, just farting in here. She's already tucked in. I... She's just laying in her bed. Oh, she wasn't on the she toilet. Was in the bathroom. She's just laying oh. in her bed, fully getting ready for bed. This is the fastest way to shit your pants. You have to try that hard to fart. <laughs> you are definitely in in line to shit your pants. Ugh. Uh, I, I, you know, God, I'm so we're so bad at like just pulling up fake facts and shit and just claiming it's real. I'm super scared after that whole like dinner with that lady where she's like, oh yeah, libel. Like you can be oh, over the lawyer. Yeah. We like lie about shit half the time. But I remember reading something about how quickly two rats can turn into like a million rats. And it was like their gestation phase and like the amount of time, like you can very quickly have. If they if they don't have predators and if they have subs- like enough food and water, like other environmental factors aren't at play, they can like turn into a million rats in a very short amount of time. That's so scary. Because yeah. they only I breed have, a rat a that wants to kill to other rats. Three day gestation phase, so it's not much time. Hmm. Ooh, and they have breast development. Hold on, there's... Sorry, we're going to have to put this podcast on hold. I see a rat breast development wiki section that I had to Can read. it be bread? <laughs> okay, never mind. I change it. I, I change it back. Uh, when you said, what's the craziest thing you can do with rats if I was given unlimited modifying time, I would make a rat with huge tits, okay? That's what I would rat, do. Rat that I swear, bra. <laughs> rat with the biggest set of jiggly knockers you've ever seen. That'd be the first thing. A I lot mean. of like bestiality themes since this is not a themed episode. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would have a rat that um had no sexual elements. <laughs> no, not for my pleasure. Prude. I just want to see if the other rats yeah, would other be into rats, it. Yeah. 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 I, that would definitely yeah. be the science to see if like other rats would be like, well, hell yeah, that one. That's a quick way to make two rats into a billion <laughs> an hour, not a million, yeah. Holy shit, every rat around town's coming over to bang the rat that lives in my walls. <laughs> There's like a goddamn thousand rats in those walls banging that mouse. Why did I breed that sexy <laughs> Jessica rabbit? <laughs> stupid, stupid rat. So fucking hot. I should have never given it that sexy dress. Oh, man. Oh, it's, I gave it that whole whale tail to wear around. <laughs> yeah. should have never given that rat a tramp stamp. <laughs> Fuck. Look at the way it walks. <laughs> Look at the way it struts. Sexy thigh high. <laughs> thigh high boots on her head. I can't sleep. All these rats are cat calling this one whore rat that's in my walls. <laughs> Tom and Jerry, girl cat. Oh my God. He's been bred into a sex icon. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. funny. That's good shit. That is rich. I. I do think breeding a rat 
that's so <laughs> aggressive that it would kill other rats is what we should do in the future for cities. <laughs> yeah. A rat that infiltrates and it loves to eat baby rats. Mm. And it loves to eat rat poison and spit it at other ones. My my uncle had a he had a rat problem in his garage, and he would put out couldn't get the tits big enough. <laughs> let me guess. <laughs> he would put out these little petri dishes of rat poison, and like he would wake up the next day, and all the rat poison would be gone. And he's like, "What the fuck? Like I can't find a dead rat." It's the scariest thing ever. And then he went to go refill all the petri dishes. <laughs> And he picks Zach's out there. <laughs> no, he picks up the box of rat poison. It's empty. They ate through the side of the box and ate all the rat poison in the box, and they didn't die. He never found a single rat. He still had rat problems. He's like, they ate, they ate all the poison I put out, plus all the poison in the box, and they were completely fine. That would be the scariest <laughs> fucking thing. That, He's like, I don't like, even know the, what to do at this point. Yeah. The, yeah. that's just like an elevation in the conflict <laughs> yeah. like that's like a you gotta step your game up to such a degree if rat poison on that scale isn't it's not even hurting yeah. them yeah and what's funny too is i remember the rat poison being like this teal color it was like very vibrant blue mm. and we knew oh, that so rats good. had eaten it because we found teal colored rat turds all over the place <laughs> where it was like dying their shit mocking yeah. us <laughs> He's like, here's, your, here's your rat poison bank you little bitch <laughs> You shit right in my food with that too. You shall poison me. They're yeah. eating it so they could suicide <laughs> poof on your fucking <laughs> cereal. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I probably said this before, but I think I ate a Girl Scout cookie when I was a kid. That was one of those samosas. Yeah. So it had like coconut mm -hmm. and it also had rat shit on it. And I thought it was part of the cookie <laughs> and I ate it oh. and like the whole box had been chewed into oh. and my mom was like, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. You ate a bunch of, ate a bunch of animal shit. You're, you're gross. And she wouldn't, wouldn't hold me after that. Or <laughs> I had to drink formula. <laughs> it was like seven. Dude, those Samoas, when you put them in the freezer, those are like the, be that is hands uh, down the I'm best gonna. Girl Scout cookie. Well, actually those and Thin Mints put them in the freezer. Everything else from the Girl Scouts, they can fuck off. I don't even, I can't even think of another cookie besides those two yeah. from Girl Scouts. Is there even another cookie worth? There's like 10 other cookies. Remembering? No. There, the, there's sometimes people go like, oh, Wait, the tag -along. What are the peanut butter ones? Are those tag -alongs? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. Those are, I would say, if you don't like mint, your thin mint alternative. You know what you need to do is do a, a Girl Scout cookie tier list. No, I, uh, hold on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Next episode, I get 10 boxes of girls. <laughs> okay. Uh, they Dude, I, I wait out by my windows every day for a girl's cat to come to my door. I haven't seen one in years. We have to go find them. We, we, if you go to the grocery store, they sometimes are outside selling them. They don't go door to door anymore because people are like, oh. creepy and pedophiles and shit. I wouldn't send my kids yeah, out there. To I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, let my kid yeah. go. Go to your they house. probably they probably go door to door and they just see you waiting for them and they're like, nah, I'm good. Oh, they finally came. I've been I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. you. <laughs> yeah. They, okay. They have thin mints, which are S tier. Then they have shortbreads. No, those are only no. Yeah, the only people that eat those are fucking 85 years old. They have lemonades, which is basically another version of an 85 year old cookie. Then they have toast yays. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Peanut butter patties. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Are these even Girl Scout cookies? What are these? They're like different. Let me guess. Now they're they them cookies, and they're all fucking. <laughs> well, no, they, they called the, the Samoas like are called caramel delights. Is that because the Samoan people were upset that they're <laughs> they were called Samoan? <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't know. I feel like Samoans and their big fat asses would love me. You know, they're called Caramel Delights. That's no fucking joke. Absolutely uh, called Caramel Delights. They took they away even Samoans they as the name? I thought they were like coconutty. They're coconut and caramel. Well, maybe they just did a big rebrand. They did a rebrand because the Samoan people were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, we know that for a fact. Samoans were outraged. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, they it's because fucking... when when you Google Samoan, like people are like cookie, cookie, <laughs> like fuck the people <laughs> it's a cookie head. It's hands down the best I cookie. I don't want to know the history. <laughs> I can tell yeah. you, goddamn cookie. <laughs> Oh, a cookie, yeah. come on! Wait, the Girl Scouts actually sell a just a chocolate chip cookie. It looks like shit too, dude. I bet it's a little fucking piece of it shit. It is. It looks gross. It looks dry. It looks crumbly. Uh, there's also one called Adventure Fools, which are indulgent brownie inspired cookies with caramel flavored cream and a hint of sea salt, dude. Uh, yeah, peanut butter patties are another one. Um, it's definitely just the Thin Mints and the Caramel Delights now. I'm going to call mm. them Samoas still. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I'm reading a Reddit thread on this right now. Yeah. Two different... Co- wait, three c- comments are saying Girl Scout cookies are made by two different companies and they have different names for their cookies. So it depends on where you are. And where the troop gets them from, but sometimes they're still called Samoas. The other company calls them Caramel Delights. Okay, I found the other one. Different. Yeah, the other one is uh, this is in Eastern Illinois. They have Thin Mints, Trefoils, Dosi Dos. So I was gonna say, don't Samoas have Samoas? like a hole in the middle? Yeah, that's what the and these Caramel Delights almost look. The picture I'm seeing. No, the Caramel Delights oh. also have a hole in the middle. They they look oh. identical. Damn it. And the tagalongs are named peanut butter patties. Yeah, they, uh, what would the they fuck? Change this is. Uh, oh wait, yeah. See, if you go to the, this is why you gotta go to the source, dude. I'm on the Girl Scouts website. <laughs> meet the cookies. Okay, and it's got caramel delights slash Samoas, okay. dosy dos slash peanut butter sandwich, peanut butter patties slash tagalongs. I can't believe those fucking Samoans are <laughs> such a fit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stalt, edit uh, out the part where we are corrected and we find the actual source, okay? I'd prefer, for, I'd prefer for us to just be falsely outraged. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I've added up to you with Samoans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Girl's a leader. S'mores, I bet. That's what's written on the Lemon Ups cookie. Dude, yeah, some of these look like fucking shit. I feel like uh, the I might have liked Lemon Ups once. And the Toasty. tastic Yeah, I dip it in a cappuccino, but <laughs> what wouldn't I? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck are Adventure Fools? <laughs> Inve- yeah, Adventure Fools, like, keep looking at them, like... like egg in a skillet. <laughs> Dude. That was, it actually looks so good, but what the f*** is it's that? It's, like, the most over-engineered cookie I've ever seen from the Girl they're, Scouts. They, re- they're trying way too f- hard, yeah. Dude. yeah, indulgent brownie and so funny, dude. They, dude, that actually probably is so good. It's got caramel cream. And a hint of sea it- salt. What does that mean? Just the, they have salt in them? <laughs> it, I don't see any sea salt on top. So, yeah, I think they the just... caramel put, chocolate chip just says... Also, if you make a cookie without sea any salt. salt, I'm going to be pissed. Why does cookie... Se- <laughs> top Reddit thread. Why does cookie season seem so short this year? <laughs> <laughs> Comment posted by the most obese man of all time. Why is... <laughs> anyway, just me noticing that cookie season felt... I only got 20 boxes of Thin Mints this year. Dude, that fat bitch. I could go 10 years without eating a Girl Scout cookie. I'll be okay. Is it just... Is it this, not only is that the title of the thread, it is a full-ass, like, three paragraphs afterwards. Why is cookie season so short? Are they running out of ingredients? What the hell? This may just be my own issue, but I feel as though cookie season this year is a flop. I'm a senior Girl Scout and I've always been the top cookie seller. Oh, okay. She's trying to she's trying to sell them. Yeah. I didn't know my profit margins. Yeah, this year though, it's I feel as though we have, that we have no like- time to sell cookies. Oh. What are the comments? Um, People on Reddit that are Girl Scouts? What's the Venn diagram <laughs> on that? 
Uh, there's actually a lot. Uh, this is from the r slash Girl Scouts subreddit, oh. which I'm not going to join because oh. I feel like that puts me on a list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a good look. Yeah. All right. I'm joining it's it. <laughs> so f- it's way funnier to think it's just some fat guy. Yeah, hey, Mike. Like, what the, where's my cookies? <laughs> Three months? That's it. That's all. I can get. Uh, it's yeah, supposed sure to last they, me all you, year. <laughs> you I mean, you can store them in the freezer for like I 10 can't years. I can fucking so. store them, dude. You know yeah. me. If I've got them, I'm going to eat them. I'm going to eat them. That's <laughs> like the, the Girl Scouts even effectively. I mean, I guess they're still. Did they do anything but sell cookies? No, they, like, they, they it, hit it. They hit the nail on the head. Okay, I was in Boy Scouts. Actually, I'm sorry. I wasn't in Boy Scouts because I'm not a loser. I was in, I was in Cub sorry. Scouts, which is like the precursor before I realized it was lame. Um, okay, fair. But Girl Scouts have cookies. Everybody likes cookies. Then Boy Scouts is like, oh, fuck, that's a good idea. How do we sell something to make money? They settled on popcorn. Really? Popcorn? You know how hard it was to sell popcorn? I remember vividly selling popcorn outside of outside of Publix. And there was this black guy that was walking up with his Sunday attire. He had a purple suit on pinstripe. And I remember <laughs> and he had a pair of like Oxford's, you know, he had wingtips on and I, he was like doing his pimp walk. I was like, uh, sir, sir. My mom used to coach me on how to say, like do my salesman pitch. I was like, sir, do you want to buy some popcorn? And he just kept walking. He just goes, I don't want no motherfucking popcorn. <laughs> and he laughed at me. And he kept doing his fucking badass, like, zoot suit walk. Ugh. He's walking. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I wish, I wish he, he was swinging his arm. throttled you a little bit. <laughs> no. Just because, yeah. He just I mean, kept walking. Who wants to buy popcorn from a kid? Yeah, no. He, he did not want to buy it, and he made it very apparent, and he laughed at me. That's and so I, fucking I, I bet you looked like a little I asshole, too. Like a too. fucking piece of shit, okay? <laughs> I want to buy no fucking popcorn, man. Yeah. Kept walking. Well, come back with some cookies. <laughs> talk. Yeah, you got these Samoas, you little bitch. Yeah, I fuck with Samoas heavily. <laughs> I do not want this popcorn. Popcorn looks like shit. <laughs> yeah. And the like the tins, you can sell like the tin, the big ones. Well, that's good to hold your arm. They're like, they're like 60 bucks or something. It was like a ridiculous <laughs> price for a, a tin of popcorn. Buy a thing of Oroville popcorn yeah. for a fucking 20 for a dollar. Yeah, it's such and a- here's the bullshit. You also don't get it right then, which is weird. I remember you make the. Well, yeah, it starts as a kernel. You no, you <laughs> you wait. like <laughs> You make the order and then I had to go around and deliver my popcorn that I that they ordered. I'm like, what kind of archaic system is this? You make an order and then three months later you get your popcorn. That sucks. Oh, it was horrible. Dude, just, I, I just had like, like, like flashback. Like, I, I've only tried to sell shit like one time, and I remember they had that sheet where it's like, you sell enough of these things, you get awesome toy prizes, mm-hmm. and I had like little toys all over it. And my family bought like four whatevers I was selling, and no one ever gave me any money. I don't <laughs> think, and they never got their product. And I didn't get the toy. Wait, uh, it's coming back to me. Ah, you opened me up. I didn't get the toys. There's, I didn't even get close. I don't even think I got close to getting any of the good prizes. And I feel like my step family were the only ones that bought them. And then for like a year, they're like, where the fuck is my stuff I bought? I'm probably popcorn or some shit. I mean, chocolate bars for school. Oh, uh, that- I just remember there's kids that were like, yeah, my family, I sold a hundred. I get the cool toy when i was in uh oh, when i was in band in middle school we had we had to do a fundraiser where we sold chocolate bars in florida in the fucking heat i bet you're fat <laughs> <laughs> me and my fat friend michael <laughs> michael with the lazy eye we, we fucking as soon as we walked out of that building we ate so many <laughs> melted chocolate bars <laughs> And then I had to hit my mom up. I had to hit my mom up and go like, mom, (laughs) these chocolate bars are like $2, $3 a piece. And I ate like, we got to help us. (laughs) I ate like six of them. I don't have the money for this. She was like, holy fuck, dude. (laughs) 
And not only that, but like as soon as we were just bringing them back to the house, like there wasn't a kid that was in band that didn't have them completely melted on the way home. Like it was so hot. Uh, like chocolate's the worst. What the fuck, dude? The Girl Scouts really have the market corner. It's the perfect thing. I'd rather sell popcorn than chocolate. <laughs> I would. I would rather. To be Less honest, tempted to fucking get high on your own supply. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> what am I gonna microwave this shit right here? On the sidewalk, there's no way. Uh, I could die. I could easily eat 15 candy bars. <laughs> popcorn, hell no. I don't want no popcorn, man. What yeah. the fuck? Let me. You got any candy bars in your pocket? <laughs> Not even Girl Scout cookies. That's yeah. I mean, I, I did Cub Scouts. I never made it to that because I was even less lame than you. I didn't even <laughs> stay in it long enough to. Not only did I not make it to Boy Scouts, I didn't even make it to the, like, you gotta sell shit part. I made it, like, two God, times. So I'm like, cool. are these the kids I'm gonna have to hang out <laughs> yeah. with at school? Yeah. You Yo, joined in first grade, like, oh, there's no pussy here? All right, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I went up to my counselor. I said, let me smell your fingers. <laughs> that smells like kid ass, not pussy. Walk right out. <laughs> Give me the hell out of here. This guy's gonna try to diddle me. I walked out. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I do remember just being like, this is so fucking lame. And I've definitely brought this up before, but my karma was, I'm like, they don't do anything exciting. Like a week after I quit, they gave him a boomerang and a pocket knife. I've never had a boomerang in my life. <laughs> and that would have been a huge opportunity oh, I, to get one. And I had a thousand knives. Yeah. Okay. That's incredibly overdue. You know, I had at least 20 knives. I didn't want their little pocket knife, but boomerang was something from cartoons. Like that was not a real thing you could buy in Indiana. <laughs> and then they're like, all the kids that stayed, but then here's their karma. All the kids that stayed and are like, look, they got me. <laughs> I got a boomerang. Then they're like showing up to shit in high school in their full fucking regalia <laughs> with like 50 bucks. Yeah, looking like fucking and Hitler they're youth. Like, they're hitting the age where they're like, I'm just doing it because I'm like close to Eagle Scout. Like, I don't take it. It looks seriously. good on the I'm resume. Like, it looks good. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you can't come. <laughs> yeah. You can't trick me. Yeah. Like, look at you. And already, just how lame I was, if I had added that to it, I probably, someone would have probably killed me. <laughs> someone would have probably bullied me to death. <laughs> I've was, seen a picture of you in high school, so yeah, that with the with the the full Boy Scout outfit would have been good. I mean, I would but. look adorable. <laughs> I would look. Parents would. I'd be selling fucking popcorn, like it was crack. But the the element at school would have been very bad for me. Yeah. Very lucky <laughs> I already. I didn't get like severely bullied just for being I, a actually. I remember Cub Scouts being Monster. pretty good and full of events because my mom, I think she was scared that I would get molested. So she, she headed the troop. She was our troop leader. Eat more candy bars, old fat boy. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's an ugly. Which is weird because I feel like Boy Scouts are supposed to be nothing but men only. And my mom was the troop leader. But uh, we were always doing, we were doing like the fellow's cake bake and we did lots of camping trips. And then... Um, you work for all your little badges cool. and stuff uh, and stuff. And uh, I remember coming back to the house and we were, there was like a, a badge you get for like, this is, this is in the infancy of like wrestling your <laughs> no, leader. No, this is in the infancy of like internet usage and like yeah. my, we had a family computer <laughs> and it was in the sunroom and um, my mom was like, Hey, we're, we're going to teach like the, the, our little unit how to use the computer. So each kid's going to get on it and they're going to, um, you know, be able to like navigate to like a certain thing or do something or whatever. And then so you can get your chat room and meet your, (laughs) and my instructor Mom turns up like, you know, the, the screensaver of like the pipes and everything pipes is on there and she wiggles the mouse and the fucking, (laughs) I had made the wallpaper, this picture of a squirrel with a big nut sack. (laughs) And my mom was like, Oh, fuck, because, like, all the other parents are there. It's, like, such a funny, like, early internet picture that was yeah. very popular. But I remember the panic of her just going, like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, change the, change the wallpaper really quick. She didn't know how to do that shit. <laughs> Look, it's Dancing Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Squirrel with nutsack. Squirrel, squirrel with big nuts. <laughs> this has to be... Hell yes! It's like, one of the, it's like one of the first images on Google. Hell yeah! I'm trying to make this a theme. 
<laughs> Squirrel with just quaking huge balls. <laughs> huge balls, dude. What was great about this image is I don't even think it was the... It wasn't even balls. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't... It wasn't a wallpaper aspect <laughs> ratio. It was just this. Just a portrait. <laughs> oh, I just had like black bars. Just a portrait. A portrait of a fucking squirrel with big nuts, low resolution. Okay, that, that squirrel's got like truck nuts on him. Damn, dude. <laughs> fucking, I get why you put that as your screensaver. That's crazy. That's what I'd breed. I'd breed a squirrel into a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Comically large nuts. Uh, Damn, yeah. that is is oh, God. It just <laughs> the fact that someone photoshopped that back in the day just almost, and it makes me feel better about every like the cycle yeah. life. <laughs> it is funny. Yeah. It's funny to do. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, I bet your mom was. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of like. <laughs> There's a lot of dorks in my like they're it's Cub Scouts. Remember that story I told you of my friend William? Yeah, there's a lot of fucking I, geniuses in there. So. Oh, I don't think I've ever told this. Wait, William is is he the guy that you wrestled with? No, no, that and was made slime. That was Matthew. Um, is he the guy that you went over to his house? <laughs> <laughs> William his was. I I think I told Cash this story. I don't know if I told you, but you were. I think you were there. When would you have told yeah. the Cash? Because we were though. talking. I don't know if you were. There, you were driving, maybe. Anyways, I went, uh, I had convinced this, uh, my, my parents had gotten divorced and my dad had moved down south. And I had this friend, William, that was like super nerdy. Oh, wait, I know, where you, I know. Where this okay, is going. yeah. And uh, he, he, he was just like a nerdy little dude. And his parents, like you go over to his parents' house and he, they were, they were just like, like helicopter parents. They just, every little thing Landers. he did. And make sure he's, he did his homework and they were very concerned about, oh, you didn't eat your vegetables today. Like, just good parents, actually, is what it was. I hate good. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say that. Just, just good. Yeah. You know. God damn it. He's, he hate. probably has like a, he probably went through the STEM fields in college, probably has a great job now. But um, he was just like, at the time, like a nerd. And yeah. um, when I would go down to my dad's house during the summer, uh, I really wanted to bring my friend William. And so my dad did like the greatest like call of all time. Like the, it was his, his, his diplomatic achievement is convincing William's parents to let him come down to his house. And ma'am, I will suck your clit <laughs> off. If you let your son. Come it, he me. was like, no, they're going to be at this. They're going to be at my place. They're going to have their uh, bunk beds. They're going to be, you know, it's going to be safe. It's going to be great. And they finally convinced <laughs> Listen, him. Guys, I'm going I'm to fully fuck the shit out of both of you. <laughs> You let this kid come down here? I'll do whatever you want. Whatever. You know? My son needs <laughs> yeah. this. Okay. Sorry, go on. I'm getting my head out of the gutter. Okay. They finally really convince him. And they let William come down. And like day one, <laughs> William gets hit by a fucking car. He gets absolutely full bodied by a car. He goes through the windshield. He's like he's like ten. He goes through the fucking windshield. Out the back. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is I see it too. We're playing. We're just we're just riding our bikes around on these back streets, and William doesn't know where the fuck he's going because he's a nerd and got sheltered. He has no street yeah. smarts. He went down an alleyway into a main road, and I like I'm like William, where are you? And I look over and I see him going. He's like riding down this alleyway, and he hears me, and he turns around and looks at me. And about that time, he oh he, your fault. He coasts out into a main road, and this car. William, look over here, William. William. <laughs> William, don't pay attention. I'm over here. This car fucking just smacks him, just T-bones oh, him. His just kills the shit out of him. His <laughs> bike gets rolled into a pretzel, and oh, William ripped him in has, half. He gets ambulance over to the hospital. Completely fine. He's a little kid, you know. Uh, that once the glass breaks, it's really like just like a glass hammock, it crumples, you know. Yeah. And he was fine. He was fine. Actually, but my my dad had to then call his parents. <laughs> <laughs> About that blowjob supreme, I promise you. I'm going to have to swallow because, my God, I have some bad news. Okay. Um, That's the scariest phone call. Yeah. Parent. He was like, I saw him just like, oh, fuck. Like, and William's mom is, was like the most panic prone lady I've ever seen. 
and he was just on the phone and the way he worded it was so great. He was like, so, uh, William today was riding his bike and he got bumped by a car <laughs> and he's, uh, he's, he's in the hospital, but he's fine. He's fine. We did CT scans. We did x-rays. He's fine. Um, and, uh, they, they saw the bike somehow and the bike, <laughs> the bike looked like it got oh, fed. I cover that. Yeah, the bike was, the, there was like a muscle guy that lived down the road that was like, it was like blood he was all like over a it. bodybuilder dude. He had to just pick up the bike and walk it back to the house because the wheels were completely rolled up. And, uh, anyways, so that guy's parents were there when. When my mom was doing the whole computer thing and like they shielded William's eyes when the when the squirrel <laughs> nut picture popped up on the computer. They're like, oh, good heavens. <laughs> no, <laughs> William, don't look at that. Holy shit, is that squirrel's nuts? <laughs> so my mom always like she felt like bad because she felt like um uh with like a lot of the people in the troop, she always felt like she was like the bad parent because me and my brother were so fucking wild. You know, because dad wasn't in the house, you know? Yeah, dad full. Yeah. Because he was over there giving William's parents some yeah. fucking I'm sorry special. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh, dude, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just so funny. They got hit by a car. Yeah. Just, it's, uh, Day one. So, so just like classic. <laughs> classic like, nothing's going to What's the worst that could happen? Day one, fucking. I just wouldn't even. I don't think my parents would have even said like he was in the hospital. <laughs> they got it all. Like you get it cleared, yeah. and they're like, "He's fine." <laughs> like, all right, William. What do I have to do? <laughs> so you. Do, oh, like, oh what, okay. So the, I the, give him like a, I I like pull out a like, like I'm gonna give you four hundred dollars <laughs> if you never tell your parents about. The problem this. is he, he was like nine or ten, and it it oh, was yeah, like the parents. Do. Okay, he's like young enough. The parents yeah. were so like protective of them they were like you have to call every day we have to talk to you every day yeah. and so there's no way the day he gets hit by a car they're gonna be like what'd you do today oh <laughs> um did you go to the beach nope yeah. i got what are they what'd you call it pancake <laughs> <laughs> why do i hear an ekg in the background like yeah. beep, beep. Oh. no i mean yeah it's you i guess you do have to tell me <laughs> I would just be so scared of that phone call. I'm <laughs> like, well, a drunk driver. It's not not our fault. Yeah, it's the driver's fault. Um, yeah. I mean, also the people driving the car to just <laughs> crumple a like nine year old. <laughs> yeah, oh I didn't even think about that. Like that must be horrific for them. You know. I thought of that story uh, the other day because I watched a movie where at the end a guy got. Like, not it was a car going like twenty miles an hour, and he hit the windshield and rolled over the back. And I'm like, "Ooh, that's gonna hurt a little bit." And the next scene was his funeral. I'm like, <laughs> that was like a, "That's like a grown ass man. Like he he died to that. Like he's like he's like twenty. I'm like, <laughs> wait, that would not. It's they meant to crumple. Isn't the end of like? Have you seen Meet Joe Black? Oh, uh, that's the like. I've seen enough clips that yeah, the Brad Pitt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Everything's going to be hairy. Yeah. Dr. Man going to make it out better. I think it's the uh, end of that movie. He just gets like. He gets hit like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's a ridiculous car like crash. CGI yeah. car. Hit. No, it's this hit was from one cruel direction intentions. And the other direction. Um, and, yeah. This was a movie someone made me watch, and it was honestly pretty weird. Cruel intentions. Nice little. It wasn't great. And it ending with a guy, the guy being hit. But the by far the coolest thing I'm going to show you is, well, the the girl actress is hot. But I mean, I, I shit, I, I'm looking at cruel intentions right now. Car crash it's, scene. It's really just a low stakes car. I just wouldn't think it'd kill him. But the girl has a coke necklace. Because they're like really religious or saying like Catholic school, and she ha she wears a big cross necklace, yeah, and it unscrews into like a little spoon, and the cross is a Coke thing. I'm like, that's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty badass. That's pretty. Cool. That is the slowest uh, car. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is pretty slow. That it killed. Yeah, him. there's like no good pictures. The movie itself wouldn't recommend, guys, unless it, like you're watching with a girl or something. It's it was 
it honestly grabbed me at a couple points because the main guy almost looked like Hayden Christensen. Yeah. But there's a very weird him and his like stepsister, but they just call each other brother or sister, have like a lot of sexual chemistry where it's not just like implied, they're like, oh fuck. <laughs> like like rubbing each other all over. And then like nothing I don't know. I I feel like the karma at the end isn't great. Also the one guy where you're like <laughs> the guy that does die, he's like a straight up pervert. <laughs> and I was like kinda glad he died. It's supposed to kind of be a sad moment. That's yeah, a really creepy guy in the movie. Oh my god. Remember when we were saying that <clears throat> Swift has a problem with UFOs? Um uh, he just sent me like a entire Google Doc. Oh <laughs> listen, man, this is my fucking editor. I never said he had a problem with UFOs. He's I'm saying that. I'm yeah. saying that. This guy he's fully locked in. He's like he just sent me a Google Doc that is like I I'm scrolling right now, and the little scroll bar is not moving. It's the longest single thing. What's it about? It's the UFO UFOs? timeline. Every single UFO that's ever been reported ever with every, every like, oh. leaked document. This is great. This is, like, schizo posting he's doing right now. That would be such a good prank. Like, find out what he thinks is the most real type of UFO and then do a report eventually and get it put into one of the documents he reads. Like, really convince him. And then say it like lives in his town. <laughs> He's gonna land in his town one day. And then I don't know where this prank's going. Maybe we like go there as aliens and we like kill him. And now, now we need to we need to buy a Fort Fables hey, helicopter. Man, I'm, the <laughs> I'm the alien from that thing you read. So ask me anything. By the way, the top comment to this cruel intention, Sebastian's death video, is uh, a comment with a thousand likes. To this day, I honestly couldn't suspend my disbelief enough. To be convinced that he would be killed from a car hitting him like that. I'm glad I'm not the only, because the girl yeah. was like, oh, like, wow. I'm like, I just I immediately, like, all night I was just thinking, like, that would, how, I mean, how weak is, how weak sold is this man to die in a car crash like that? Yeah. Reese and Ryan in the movie. Wait a second. I know that guy. It. That's the guy from Way of the Gun Man. with Benicio Del Toro. Sure. Ryan Philippe. He looks pretty cool in the movie for the most part. And then he puts on like 90s little glasses that look so awful. Yeah. And But besides that, he looks fine. I know everyone's wondering. Is this the... Is he in this movie? This has to be. Yeah. It, oh, my neck. Have you ever seen that movie, Way of the Gun? No, is it like uh, Sicario? A little bit. <laughs> I was not expecting. No, not okay. not really. It's kind of like no. uh, it's a strange movie. Very strange. Yeah, Ryan Philippe. Ryan Philip. I don't know. It's a that. It looks like his name's Philly <laughs> Philip Philippe. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Philippe. <laughs> no, he, he's good in that movie. But um, I mean, it's got Benicio del Toro. Come on, you can't, you can't yeah, beat he's that. He's good in everything. Yeah. He's good in anything and everything. It's called a neo western yeah. heist action thriller film. I like the sound of that. <laughs> that is, I mean, oh, and it has Juliette Lewis in it, who I think is awesome. Ryan, uh, Phil, Phil, my PP or whatever the fuck his name is. He's pretty good in Cruel Intentions, but what he really shines in is McGruber. Oh, yeah? He's the side guy in McGruber. He's got, like, Justin Timberlake's hair. Yeah, and he's got, like... He almost looks like the guy that plays Iceman in the X-Men movies. Yeah. And all these pictures of him. <laughs> yeah. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is that guy? Is that not this guy? <laughs> Sean Ashmore. <laughs> like, uh, this is actually a good episode once we eased into it. And now it's gotten to the yeah. point where Stalt's beating his head on the fucking desk. He's like, they're just talking about movies. They're just talking, uh, yeah. they're just talking about it movies. It started off really weak and then I think it got good. <laughs> it, and now yeah. we. Well, yeah. here's the trick. It's a sandwich. Here's the trick. It's a sandwich. It's, yeah. What? It's a sandwich. Stalt, what you do is you cut off, you cut off, you ease in about 30% of the way into this episode. And we shoot a new intro, and then it's just a banger episode. Yeah. You cut off the beginning. 
Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, oh. Yeah. We can just... Okay, let's start an intro, and then let's... Wait, because you know how I... I like to do, like, callbacks mm. to things earlier in the episode. Yeah. If you've noticed. I mean, you do it, too, but... Like, I like to bring things around a lot mm-hmm. and talk, you know, like, oh, that reminds me of the here. We could do an intro where we predict, like, then everything's a callback. <laughs> I don't know how that'd work now that I'm saying it, but be like, guys, today I was thinking about cars hitting kids, Girl Scout cookies, <laughs> anteaters, yeah. and uh, bestiality. And then it's like when the episode happens, they're like, wow, he was thinking about those <laughs> Those things. were really in the back pocket this whole time. Yeah. Or we could like, oh, that'd be a good intro one day. Open up a pack of tarot cards. It's after the episode's recorded. <laughs> I go, okay, I'm seeing something about a child being hit by some sort of horse, maybe. I know I'm getting a little confusion. Some sort of horse, inbred horse, maybe. <laughs> yeah, inbred horse. I'm seeing something about a squirrel with big fat nuts. <laughs> oh my god, the death card. I'm seeing something about child. There was like, yeah, dead, dead, oh, dead kid, squirrel nuts, Girl Scout cookie, Ske- sketch is gay. Okay, I'm getting a lot. And then, and oh, yeah, I forgot we song, talked about sketch is gay. Yeah, Rick Levine would be like, holy shit, this guy, this guy's really good yeah. at reading tarot Whoa. cards. Wait, is astrology tied to tarot in any way? Like, does does Rick uh, Levine do tarot? I, no, I most people that are into one are pretty into the other. I've found I don't know if that's like a, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure like they're pretty. They're, I don't know if they have like a direct correlation, but they have like one of those things where it's like, hey, you really like fucking IPAs? You probably like like American tr- traditional tattoos or something. You know, it's like pot calling cattle. I mean, I don't have any tattoos, but you know, you look at me, you say, wow. That guy probably likes vinyl records. Yeah. And guys, I just got a record player set up. And now I'm going to become a guy that likes that kind of stuff. Uh, astrology. Let's see. How many tarot readers here believe in astrology? Ooh. See, I'd sooner believe astrology after talking to Rick than I would tarot. But also there's aura readings. What? We could get our aura. Tarot read. is based on astrology, so yes. Oh. Yeah. What? I think astrology we've inherited today is somewhat vague, and much of the original art has been lost to time. We're, what the fuck? Aren't tarot cards like literally like interpreting the card that you? I guess I don't really know how they work, you know, but I thought you like flipped a bunch of cards and you're like, well, I think oh, you're shit. trying to rationalize something that's irrational, okay? It's just a fucking card, and it's just Rick Levine trying to stick his hand in your pocket. All right, I don't think Rick Levine was right about certain he things. He was right, but it's not a science. Okay, he says it's a science. It's not. Brian? <laughs> oh, yeah, he said Brian what would die. <laughs> he said something big would happen in Brian's life. <laughs> yeah. And then Brian got what? hit by the Explain those that. two 18-wheelers, hit him at the exact yeah. same time, and just splattered him. They eviscerated him. <laughs> yeah, he got turned into red mist. Yeah. Now he rolled off the... <laughs> Rolled into the windshield on the fort. He just jumped six feet in the air in the windshield. If I ever see a Mack truck coming at me, I'm going to fucking jump right after that windshield. <laughs> I'm going to do the uh, uh, Brock Samson where I'm going to put my back to it and put my arm out and then my hand like this. And right before it hits me, oh. I'm going to fall back and land into the driver's seat like he does and squash the person in the driver's seat. That would be the coolest thing you possibly could do. I was going to say, turn my back to it and start running as fast as it's going and then hop on the front and just get like, just glide yeah. me. Put the hood ornament up your ass so you don't slide off. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, is this a Bentley? <laughs> Holy shit. Is that Chrysler? I feel, I feel like an angel's in my ass right now. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we're still going. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Forehead Fables Podcast. This has been the premiere July episode. Get ready for episode two coming out and then the patron exclusive after that. God, the lineup. You guys just got leaked the entire month. <laughs> <of episode. laughs> Expect that for the next 15 years. <laughs>
<laughs> we are not an old dog that needs put down. Yeah. We are young. Oh, by the way, that uh, remember that um, that fucking bonsai tree we planted together. It it started to mold. <laughs> it's, it's, it hasn't sprouted it at all. Into it's something it's evil. Turning into mold. Yeah, it's indicative. <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah, it might turn to like a. Fish. It might turn to like like a mushroom or something. Yeah, it would be cool. A mushroom. That's a mushroom. Like, that's way cooler than a bonsai yeah. tree. Uh, Rick Levine, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Evil. Stay away from me. <laughs> Man, let me leave the show. You turned a bonsai into a mushroom. <laughs> that's worse than turning a rat into a squirrel. You don't even oh make a tarot card for that anymore. <laughs> Old time evil. <laughs> Oh, evil. His fucking eyes turn white. And he, yeah. he, he, <laughs> it's like Indiana Jones the when they when they open up the fucking the Ark of the Covenant. His eyes yeah. bleed and they pop out of his head. Hey, Rick, here's a picture of a mushroom. What does this mean? <laughs> a scanner style. Yeah. His head just fucking blows up. <laughs> Dude. Wait, that didn't used to be a bonsai, right? No, it did. Oh, a picture of mushroom night. <laughs> but it was a bonsai. See, this is why I like having like just like dudes that are interested in their own little field. So then after they leave, they can just we can keep bringing them back character. as recurring characters. They're just in our wheelhouse. Uh, Rick Levine has been. He's been a, a court wizard in several bits. He's been like, he's always like a recurring character now. <laughs> we need to have more like little, little yeah, odd guys. We need more cards. More. <laughs> yeah, we need little odd guys. <laughs> yeah. Capture their soul and put them into our stories. Yeah. <laughs> now you're ours forever. Yeah. You're part yeah, of our, should, our we... little cinematic universe over here. <laughs> We should look into like animal expert because we talk about animals a lot. So we got a guy we need to get an anteater expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Why'd you bring me on the show to talk about? Me? Please Maybe God, don't tell me we're gonna talk about anteaters. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually quite that. interested in dogs. Is what I know. Forget whatever. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> on this show. Wow, well, we don't give a shit, dude. <laughs> you can talk about a cat frog here, okay? <laughs> Got two hours to sell whatever shit you're pushing. Oh, uh, that dude, is, this that is, is rich. Uh, there's just like people that are just like driving trucks and shit right now listening to this. <laughs> it's like the saddest podcast so? experience. <laughs> Why is that sad? Just been laughing for like twenty five minutes straight. Uh, it's funny. I mean, I just imagine some medicine. guy like doing his job, just like straight faced listening. <laughs> I was actually thinking about killing my wife when I got home. <laughs> yeah, factory late night. <laughs> Just a serious uh, ass guy doing something <laughs> crazy, yeah. doing his job listening to this. Do you think there's any like, <laughs> serious businessmen listening to this podcast? Yes, there's like normal people that have normal fucking jobs. Uh, I, I'm I've got to run this company. You know? <laughs> He's yeah. just pissed off right now. Listen, <laughs> go back to your business talk. <laughs> uh, Need more tips of the trade. Yeah. Uh, that is so funny. <laughs> They're just like not laughing at all. <laughs> just a this. guy fucking loading forklifts and shit. Yeah. Like he's, he's just doing regular uh, work. It's better than the thoughts in my head. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's yeah, not another not another fucking like mansphere podcast. <laughs> all right, we're never gonna tell you how to be a fucking man and improve your life, uh, but we'll talk uh, about fucking yeah. an anteater. I mean, like, why not? <laughs> 
Uh, That's why we're the number one <laughs> the adult podcast. 18 plus. We talk about shit other adults don't want to talk about. I don't have the balls to talk about. I would turn a rat into a squirrel with enough breeding. With big, big nuts. <laughs> yeah. big nuts. Squirrel nuts on rat body. <laughs> I said it. They'd look even bigger. Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, <clears throat> but anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. You know, I hope that yeah. shift is, uh, you know, the end of it's right around the corner. Um, get, get out, get out. Yeah, this has been a three-hour-long <laughs> podcast. You know, I'm sure you got like a 12-hour shift at the factory or whatever. Yeah, hopefully you put this on right at the end. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah, guys, I maybe skip ahead to like 40 <laughs> minutes in this one, but you're hearing this after. <laughs> Yeah, guys, go ahead. Oh, I should have tip now, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> wasted my day. <laughs> but now, now I got the giggles. So <laughs> now it's time to end it. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. Oh, okay. Just hit our strat. Okay, time to go right to bed, guys. Yep. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. All right. Yep. Bye.